So, the campaign we're playing, as you guys can see, is Storm King's Thunder. Uh, I'm going to give you guys some background on this campaign. Uh, it's going to let you know a little bit about what you're going to be doing and a little bit about the giant history. So, let me pull out the book. Haha. <laughs> Uh, the Savage Frontier, also known as the North, is a cold, rugged, sparsely populated land of snow-capped mountains, rocky hills, sprawling forests, and foggy vales. Isolated strongholds, ancient burial mounds, and the ruins of many forgotten empires dot this vast landscape. Bounded by the Sea of Swords to the west and the Desert of Anorak to the east, the Savage Frontier extends as far north as Icewind Dale and as far south as the town of Daggerford. Old roads stretched across this great expanse, linking the dwarven strongholds and mines in the mountains to the coastal sediments, frontier towns, and fortified outposts of human and other folk. These roads are long, lonely, and poorly defended, making them dangerous to traverse. In fertile valleys, towns, and cities have sprung up, separated by dozens if not hundreds of miles of untamed wilderness haunted by bandits, barbarians, and monsters. Evil dragons stirred into action by their dark queen, Tiamat, threatened the settlements of the Savage Frontier for a time. Ultimately, they were defeated and forced to withdraw to their lairs, while Tiamat was banished to the Nine Hells. Fear of the dragon's wrath has faded quickly with the coming of the new threat, giants. The people of the North are no strangers to giant incursions. Frost giants have long claimed the spine of the world as their domain. The hill giants are known to scrounge for food in the untamed hills. But now, in the past couple of months, Giants of every kind have emerged from their strongholds and forced to threaten civilization. As never before. And not just frost giants and hill giants, but also stone giants, fire giants, and cloud giants. All of the giants are in an uproar. Reports of giant attacks throughout the north have reached the coastal cities of Luskin, Neverwinter, and Waterdeep stoking fears that the giants are waging war against humans, dwarves, elves, and other small folk. So, that gives you guys a little bit of background on the area we're in. For any of you that are familiar with the Forgotten Realms, or um, the Legend of Dritz and all of his adventures, uh, it's in the same general area. We'll be around like Luskin, Waterdeep, some areas like that. So. Um, if you're familiar with any of that, it, it's going to have some of the same features. Uh, you actually get to meet some of the same people from that. So, you guys' adventure is going to begin here. So, chapter one is a great upheaval. This is where we are going to start with you guys. Um, your group has come together as a group of adventurers that are seeking many different things. Um, some of you are here mainly to protect uh, the weak, to look for adventures to thwart out justice against evil. Some of you are here for personal means that you would rather not share and are here on secretive business. Um, again, others of you are here mainly to make a name for yourself, uh, to try and gain reputation to become a hero, and others are here just for the loot. Some people like to just adventure to see what kind of treasures they can find. Um, your group has come together, and you are travel. You guys have been traveling along the high road for days. As evening approaches, you spot a wooden signpost next to a trail that heads north into the hills. Nailed to the post are three arrow-shaped signs, two marked Waterdeep and Daggerford, follow the high road, but point in opposite directions. The third, marked Nightstone, beckons you to follow the trail. If memory serves, Nightstone is roughly 10 miles up the trail. So, at this point, uh, I would like you guys to introduce your characters to one another. Um, I'm sure all of you guys know your class and race by now, but it would be nice for, I guess, everyone to hear it kind of thing. <laughs> Kelfie's a lion. Um, Oh, look, Wolf's going to be in the uh, recording. Good job, Wolf. Um, so, if you guys would like to, we'll start with uh, the way that it's set up in here. Magoo, you're going to go first. Um, introduce your characters to each other. My name is Roland Galindol. I am a Wood Elf Ranger. How far in do you want me to go? That's all you want to share. That's all you have to share. You don't have to share as much as much as you want. I'll, I'll do that for right now. Okay.
Uh, my name's Demon. I'm an SMR paladin. Oh, oh, hold on. What? My name is Bali. <laughs> I'm a tiefling, and I'm a fighter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My name's Adramach, from a different land. And you are a wild magic sorcerer, which I'm so happy I'm, about. I am. Your turn, Ash. Uh, uh, my name is Lydia Nightblossom, and I am a wood elf cleric. Is Christine she, muted again? She, uh, I, I, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that I'm on push to talk. Don't come for me like this. Uh, <laughs> the second off, she my character doesn't really talk all that much. So uh... you are a. I'm a tiefling. Name class. I'm a druid. You can call me Maka. I guess. <laughs> Nice. Um, somebody do me a favor and send me a message really quick, like a DM, so I can see if it pops up. I think I turned them on. On roll 20 or? In Discord. Okay, cool. They did not pop up. Oh, wow. Ash. Ooh, <laughs> your cleric's looking for some pain, aren't you? <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> Uh, That's the thing uh, that I know how to type the fastest. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. You know how to type bitch the fastest. Gotcha. Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, as I told you guys, uh, you're starting in the Great Upheaval. Um, you guys are on the pathway to Nightstone. Um, you are traveling to Nightstone for the following reasons. Um, you have heard rumors of goblins terrorizing the settlement, and the High Steward of Nightstone, Lady Velrosa Nandar, is a Waterhavian noble. She is reportedly offering a reward to anyone willing and able to deal with the goblin threat. Um, Nightstone is also a popular retreat for wealthy nobles who wish to hunt in the Ardeep Forest. Adventurers can earn good money by offering their services as guards on a hunt. Also, the residents of Nightstone have a long-standing and seemingly in Wow, that's a weird word. Irreconcilable conflict with the northern neighbors, the elves of the Ardeep Forest. Lady Valrosa Nandar has been searching for skilled mediators to help resolve the dispute. The Nightstone Inn is renowned for its food and cozy guest rooms. The dwarf innkeeper, Morak Urgre, has a fondness for adventurers and a nose for lucrative adventuring opportunities. You can create other adventures if you want, if any of you have any other reason to want to come here. No. Okay, good. So, one thing I am going to allow your characters to do, um, and this is a one-time thing, I will not be this generous later on, you will each have the opportunity now to roll for a magical item for your character. Um, this magical item is going to be rolled from the uh, magic item table B that I have over here on the book. Um, you will each need to roll a uh, D100, and based off of what you get, this will be an item that will be added to your inventory. Not all of Fuck. Them, not all of these items are actual items. Damn, Johnny. Some of them can be uh, like potions and whatnot as well. Johnny went first, or no, Ma Makaria went first. Makaria. A 24. You gain a potion of resistance. Adramalech rolled a 92. You, sir, gain a Mariner's Armor. And then I think I can actually give that to you if you give me one sec. A Mariner's Armor. Adramalech, is that why your accent's so odd? 
Correct. You're from a <laughs> far off town? Oh, very far. You guys can hear all that, can't you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But... yeah. But whoop, whoop. So, um, Mariner's Armor um, is a light, medium, or heavy, um, whichever you would prefer it to be. Um, while wearing this armor, you have a swimming speed equal to your walking speed. In addition, whenever you start your turn underwater with zero hit points, the armor causes you to rise 60 feet toward the surface. The armor is decorated with fish and shell motifs. I can wear light armor, can't I? Um, uh, you might be able to. Let's check really quick. I believe Sorcerer can wear it if you... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. You may not be proficient in armor yet, and if you're not proficient, you would have to mm -hmm. le uh, learn the proficiency first. Hmm. And so, as a Sorcerer, you have zero armor proficiency, so you wouldn't be able to wear it just yet. But it's something you could hold on to, and if you learn yep. proficiency, you could eventually equip it. I think I will, eventually. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see, Demon rolled a 90. Demon, you will receive an immovable rod. <laughs> hey, it's a cool rod. It's actually a really cool item, so... This flat iron rod has a button on one end. You can use an action to press the button, which causes the rod to become magically fixed in place until you or another creature uses an action to push the button. The rod doesn't move, even if it is okay. defying What, 8,000 pounds? 8,000 pounds of weight. More weight causes the rod to deactivate and fail. A creature can use an action to make a DC 30 strength check to move the rod. Up to Amazing. <laughs> so, That's actually it. Yeah, I've seen him use it in crit rolls like a hundred times. Oh yeah, it's really cool to use because when you think about it, like you can put it up against a door and that person can't open that door. So it'd be really good for like protection if you guys yeah. are trying to like sleep at night. Um, let's see. Ash, you rolled a sixty-one. You get a spell scroll of the third level. So uh, that sounds cool. Which that's uh, pretty good. Spell would you like? It's a, it can be a third level spell. Can I think about that? I'll let you think about it. You can come back. All right. Um, let's see. Magoo rolled a 52. You, sir, receive a potion of water breathing. Nice. Why does this all seem extremely foreboding? Oh god. I told you, TPK first day. So Oh, I'll are... put money on it. And this will be the slutty tiefling's roll. A 57. She will receive a spell scroll of the second level. And I will let her decide on that later. Come on, Kelf, what do you got? What do you got? Whatever you roll, you're gonna have to carry it around in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we'll roll anyway. I'll take it. Yeah, see what you roll, just just for fun. Loot is my favorite part of these types of games. Yeah, just just zero. Roll. Come on. Zero is actually a thing, so twenty six. Twenty six. You receive a potion of resistance. Uh That's good. That's a good thing. That was Kelf good. was too resistant to the magic item. <laughs> did you already add the items to our equipment or no? I did not. From here on, I'll let you guys add your own items to your treasure and whatnot. Um, so if you just go into your uh, character sheet, the second page where you do your bio, um, treasure is towards the bottom down there. You can slowly start adding your treasure stuff there. I'm going to take screenshots of them every night so that I know that you guys aren't coming in there and adding random stuff. Okay, I know what I want. Okay, what do you want? I want the spell spirit guardian. Okay. You can have that. So I just add it to where it says three? 
Because I see where it says like one, two under my spells. So that spell and then scroll can't is like zero. For one use. A spell scroll is something you read words off of. Yeah. And it, the words literally disappear from the scroll as you read it, and it'll disappear. So uh, it would probably be better to put in your inventory. Um, so okay. you can either put it down on your equipment. Um, on your first page, or if you don't want to have it at the ready, you could put it in your bio under the treasure. So okay, like, cool. Johnny right now can't equip his, so he would put his under treasure since he can't use it just yet. I'm about to start calling you guys by your right. character names. All right, so now that you all have your one free piece of magical loot, we can get back into the game. So. As you guys uh, are approaching, where is it? Uh, Nightstone. You guys are heading to Nightstone because uh, of the reasons I said earlier. Each of you has your different reason for wanting to go. Um, before we go to Nightstone, I'm going to take you guys to this page. Ooh. This is uh, the land that you guys are going to be in. This is the frozen north. Um, it goes all the way up here to like the Icewind Dale area. This is called the Spine of the World. It's a mountain range that uh, goes basically across the entire north. This is the Sword Coast. Um, can you guys see my cursor? I don't know if you guys can or not. Probably. No, nope. but if no. you draw on the map, we'll be able to see it. Yeah, true. Um, freehand. Okay, so this is the Sword Coast. Uh, this is the Spine of the World up here. Um, that he raced that later. Uh, where you guys are going to be starting at is in Nightstone. And if I scroll in on this, it doesn't even say where Nightstone's at on here. Beautiful. That just gives me the map. All right, I have a better map than this. I'll upload it later. Uh, basically, Nightstone is right around this area, uh, close to Waterdeep and Phandalin area. You guys are approaching on Nightstone. And... Your characters are... There. So, you guys can all see your characters, correct? No. I got a black screen. Yeah, this yeah. is like a black screen too. Really? You guys don't see what I revealed? Did you reveal anything? No. Um, scroll out a little bit so you're able to see the whole map. I'm all the way out. And it's just a black square. What about now? It's a black square. No. It's, still black. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's very nice though. <laughs> it's Kelpie Kelpie. said, it's a nice black square. Yeah. I don't know why it's not showing you guys. All right, uh, reset the fog. Fog is reset. Is there a way to remove the fog? <laughs> uh, okay, maybe that's why. Damn it, demon. What about now? Nope. Yeah. Hold on. Oh. What about now? Oh, no. Wait, you guys still can't see it? No, no. it's a black screen. I don't even have the Fog of War turned on anymore. I don't know. You guys were able to see the other one? Like this one? Hey. Yeah, yeah. Can see that. Yes. But you can't see this? No. I nope. see a black square. Wow, rectangle. That's weird. Okay. I don't know why you guys can't see this. Uh, map and background to the front. Yeah, I'm confused. I don't know why you guys can't see this now. There's nothing stopping you guys from being able to see this. Um, Except for imagination. What about 
that now. Hey, yep. You can see yeah. everything. Okay. Nightstone. Interesting. So for some reason, I can't have the dynamic lighting turned on. I'll have to remember that. So you guys are uh, right there. You guys should all be able to uh, select your characters. Yep. Okay, perfect. Then um, as you guys approach Nightstone, um, after following the trail for 10 miles, you hear the ringing of a bell. The sound grows louder as Nightstone comes into view. A river flows around the settlement, forming a moat. The village itself is contained within a wooden palisade, beyond which you see a windmill, a tall steeple, and the high-pitched rooftops of several other buildings. Apart from the ringing of the bell, you detect no other activity in the village. The trail ends before a lowered drawbridge that spans the moat. Beyond the drawbridge, two stone watchtowers flank an open gap in the palisade. South of the village and surrounded by the river moat is a cone-shaped flat-topped hill on which stands a stone keep enclosed by a wooden wall. The keep, which overlooks the village, has partially collapsed. A wooden bridge that once connected the keep to the village has also partly collapsed. I wonder what's going on. Let's go check it out. How would you guys like to be traveling in your group? I'm in the back. I go in the front. Okay. I am also in the back. Go ahead and rearrange yourselves as you would. I think I might be dumb. I can't see my character. It's on the up. left in the middle. Oh, right. Okay. It's just small. It took me forever to find it. Oh, <gasps> now we can only see a few things. What happened? Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so that worked. I can't see the goblins anymore. Yeah, you aren't supposed Damn to. Damn it! There's goblins. <laughs> I didn't see any. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> So this is all that you guys have been able to see so far. This is how this is supposed to work. No. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, somebody just pinged. I saw that. Yeah, I don't know how I did that. Just left click and hold. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. So your fighter is also going to be out front with demon more than likely. All right. So if you guys would uh, like to decide what you want to do from here, uh, what would y'all like to do? Soon after we get our formation here, <laughs> we um, move on up. Okay. Um, you would all have to move at the same speed. Technically, the one of you that has the fastest movement speed is Kelf the Lion. Um, what is? What is what? What is this thing standing here in the road? What do you mean? Ping it for me, so I know what you're talking about. The rogue. That's a person. No, that's the druid. Oh. <laughs> that looks like a necromancer, yeah. Yeah, I need to find better tokens for those two. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so lead the way. Valley being which, the husky which way are we going? Species. I'm going I'm going north. Yeah. The uh, Hussy Tiefling one. would like to go check out the drawbridge that is down, thinking it's curious that a city would leave their drawbridge down and unattended. Kelfie, come with us. Here, girl. <laughs> I'm going to laugh when you get your ass clawed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never said if, if Kelfie's line was a male or female. Did you check? I'm not Can checking. Check? I don't want to die. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm a ranger. I mean, I <laughs> do... Uh, perception check? <laughs> uh, would one Mangy. of you guys like to do a perception check from where you're at? <laughs> uh, no, not, not on Kelv, no. No, not on Kelv. But on this drawbridge, can yes. We see anything? Yeah, I was going to say, can we see anything? What, what do we see across the bridge? So, if you look into the area, you see that there are some boulders strewn about in the, uh, in like the city proper. So what do you think's going on? Are they, are they like a fight and shit? 
Uh, yeah, I'll use the boulders as coverage. Was that me rolling? That Is that how you roll for insight? Is that how you roll? You click it and it rolls automatically for you? Yes. Yep. Yes. <gasps> well, Wait, I just rolled for insight. That? If you click it on your character sheet, it rolls for you automatically. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes, Kelf, we can see that. Holy crap, you both rolled ridiculously good. What the hell? Alright, well, we rolled for... <laughs> I rolled for insight. Alright, so, uh, at the drawbridge... That um, 20. <laughs> you are able to see that the area west of the drawbridge has several humanoid tracks in the grass and dirt. Um... You can see that it is made by what appears to be several dozen fleeting humans. Uh, it also reveals smaller humanoid tracks made by what appears to be roughly a dozen goblins heading from the north towards the drawbridge, as well as two sets of unusually large wolf tracks. Oh, God. Ooh. All right, who does stuff about wolves? What are they? Come on, Kelf, don't run away. You can do this. <laughs> Kelf just dipped. <laughs> All right, so if only me. I had a heart. <laughs> you can be courage. Cowardly dog? Or the cowardly lion? <laughs> Alright, so um, um, what would you guys like to do from here? Uh, how high... well, if they're in trouble, we should go help them. How high are these towers? Uh, the towers are 25 feet. Can we see anything in the towers? Um, you can see from your vantage point that there appears to be seven towers surrounding the city. And one of them appears to be partially collapsed. I'm but jumping in the tower. you can't see anybody, like, manning the towers, right? No, you do not see anybody in the two towers close to you. I'm jumping into this one tower. See if I see anything. <laughs> were you going to use stealth, okay. or were you just going to run in there? I just ran in. Perfect, okay. Um, <laughs> so, and the rest of you, uh, what would y'all like to do? I'm going to chill where I'm at for now. I'll go in. Okay. Covered, covered his dumb ass. Yeah, smart move. I gotta get my high area. So, as, <laughs> uh, hiding behind a tree. As you came in, not using any stealth whatsoever, two wargs noticed, <laughs> noticed you. Oh god. Uh, You're going to get us killed. The two wargs uh, move up and begin to uh, get in preparation to attack. And one of you happens to notice them and calls out to the group. Demon, you're the one in the front, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I'll, I'll take the front as long as you guys kill them quick. So am I on top of this tower right now? I can see down below. Just that curiosity. It was there a, 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 a ladder or something? How'd you get up there? Well, it looks yeah, like there's, there's a ladder. ladder. Yeah, there's a ladder to get on top of it. You can be on top of the tower, yes. Kelp, are you climbing the tree? <laughs> 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 um, so, uh, I need you guys to roll for initiative. Oh, shit. I can't, like, so everybody use diplomacy. Oh, there's no diplomacy in this, is there? Not against wargs. Did that roll is or that not? Is that 1d20? Yes, 1d20. Your wargs rolled a 19. If you click your initiative, it rolls automatically, and I rolled a 19. It doesn't, like, I don't see my roll, though. Oh, you have to hit the uh, initiative? If you click okay. initiative, it will roll it for you. Yeah, if you click initiative, it does. I rolled a 22. So I see. <laughs> yeah, but where does it show it? I don't see mine. Uh, go to your... It, it goes shows in the chat. chat. I don't see it in chat, though. All right, whatever. Uh, if you go, you your... see... go to your character sheet. It's going to be between armor class and speed. I clicked it though. I hear the I hear the beep, but I don't see it actually roll. So I'm oh, just going to roll it manually. You have to roll it yourself. Click initiative and then like roll your mouse. Oh, oh I just clicked initiative and it rolled for me automatically. But yeah, I also have mine me. pulled up in the pop out screen, so yep. that might be why. Pull it out in your pop out screen and then it'll just do it automatically. There it goes. But once you roll, add your initiative to it, so... Well, this one, this automatically adds your initiative if you do it from the initiative side. Yeah, but not if you just roll a d20. Oh, there we go. You have to click the initiative, not the number. Like, click the word initiative. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yes. 
Awesome. Okay, so with your rolls, um, the first of you to make a move will be Lydia Night Blossom. The second will be, oh, um, I believe, Magoo, and then um, uh, Maka. Your initiative is what? Plus two. One. But thank you for trying to give me extra. <laughs> okay, so you tied with the wargs, so you will uh, go third. Then the wargs will go. Oh no, wait, I'm sorry, Johnny. You rolled a twenty. Uh, Johnny will go. Then Makar, M Maka, and then the wargs, and then Demon, and Kelfi rolled a ten, and then Kelfi. What about Corpy? Oh yeah, I have to roll for her, don't I? <laughs> uh, I mean, is she in the group? You gotta throw the sass in there too. You know, there should be lots of sass. <laughs> Yeah, I want to hear a sassy pirate. Wow. And she will go last. <laughs> Damn it! How tall are these towers? Uh, these towers are 25 feet tall. That's okay, thank you. And each of these squares is 10 feet? Um, I believe they are... So like each tiny of square the, is 5 feet. The tiny squares are 5, the big squares are 10, yes. So, so yeah, from you to there is 30, which means each one of those boulders that you see in the floor as well is about five feet. Okay. So as I read through my spells, I have um, come to a very, very startling conclusion. What's that? I have no offensive abilities. <laughs> Good thing you have a weapon. Mm -hmm. I'm just a heel spell, what can I say? Uh, right, smack him with your staff. I want to... Well, I tried to get a shillelagh, but Pirate wasn't having it, so... <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> okay. Alright, who's first? So, first to act is going to be your cleric, Lydia Nightblossom. I already moved. Um, can I... Let me see, what do I want to do? And also, as you guys move in, it reveals some of the area to you as well. My God. Would you like to take an action or do anything? Yeah, I'm... Hmm. What's the range on my crossbow? Let me see. page over here i do not it's in this book i'm looking Ugh. 80 okay do you have a light crossbow or a heavy crossbow i forget a light crossbow all right a crossbow hand crossbow heavy yeah it says 80 let me see 80, here 320 Yes, so a light crossbow has um, 8320, which means after 80, you will start losing damage, and after 320, it takes no damage. Okay, so I want to shoot that front guy for, let me see, i got to roll 1d8. Or you hit your weapon, it'll do the rolling for you. Um, I don't think it will with my weapon. I would prefer the uh, attack rolls to just be normal rolled, um, but you can also do it this way. Um, if you go to, you gotta roll the hit first, right? Yeah, with the crossbow. Have, have to roll the oh crossbow. yeah, sorry. So, <laughs> and what's your plus two attack would be dexterity? Well, what's your dexterity? Uh, give me a second. Is it a plus dexterity bonus, plus proficiency yeah. bonus? Plus three, yeah. Um, you would have a plus five to your attack three. right now. Because you're yeah. are you Does that hit? Um, you rolled a what? A four plus five? I rolled a four. That does not hit. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. And I guess that's it. I don't have anything else, so. Okay. <gasps> it's a mini cat. Yeah. <gasps> 
You can just resize it. The square around your person, you just make it smaller. I don't know if that's a mini cat. That's still a ten foot long lion. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Technically, you guys are ten foot tall right now, so. True. Wait, I want to be smaller. Yeah, you can make your character smaller if you want to. I just left him that big just for aesthetics, so it's easier to see. So the second of you to go is going to be a Magoo. I'm going to attack that first one. Okay. How do I make myself smaller? Grab the square around your character and shrink it. We can't grab them. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't do anything. It's probably just not my turn. Yeah, no. I don't even see Demon's character. Where the hell did you go? Oh, there you are. There you go. Here, I'll just make you all a little bit smaller. You all go into five foot squares. Aww. Oh. Oh. That makes I'll things a little bit character. easier. Well, I think is that how it's supposed to be? Are the character supposed to be five foot squares? Yeah. Who am I missing? That's all of you, right? Kelf is still a ten foot square, but hey, that's okay. fine. She's a that's how man. that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. I don't think I can. Yeah, if I make her smaller, she looks all crushed. <laughs> It's like a lion and a pug had a baby. Okay. <laughs> Don't laugh at Kelfie, she might eat y'all. Oh, I'm not laughing at Kelfie, I'm laughing at the character model and how it interacted with the game. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, would you like to go ahead and make your attack roll? You didn't get the, uh, whisper? You have a plus seven to attack? No way. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, the dex, dex plus I'm proficient. Yeah, that's only a plus five, not a plus seven. And, and, let me pull it up. Oh, wait, I'm proficient in my crossbow. Does that change anything? That yeah, gave you a plus five. Plus and in arch archery, I gain plus two bonus to attack rolls when I make it with a ranged weapon. Oh, you have an ability that does that for you? Did you add that e so I can look at it really quick? Uh, I can just add in here real fast. This is archery. <laughs> okay. Damn, no shit. Plus seven to attack at level one? That's freaking ridiculous. Yeah, that's why I asked you earlier about that, remember? Okay, so that does hit. Uh, would you like to roll your damage? And seven damage, okay. You guys are able to see the health bars and everything, right? Yeah, well, I can see mine. I only see mine. Oh, you guys can't see the, the targets, okay. Interesting. No. Okay, cool. I Let's do not on. like that smile at all. <laughs> I think we'd have to kill one to see what life they'd have anyway. Yeah, we? well, you know right now that a nine will not hit it, so you know it has more than nine armor class. Yeah. All right, uh, so next of you to attack, I need to add that initiative thingy. I know there's a way to do it. Like an initiative order? There it goes. Yeah. Except that's not... I like that. Pirate, if I one. ping you, ignore me. Okay. Um, so, Adrama Lich is next. I will attempt to hurl a fireball. Okay, are you using a... Firebolt. A are you, so that's one of your cantrips, correct? It is. Okay. Perfect. Go ahead and roll Burn. for your attack. I think... I'm pretty sure Firebolt requires an attack roll. Spell attack bonus 6. Yep. So you have plus 6. And what do I roll for that? Uh, so to roll for your attack is always going to be a 1d20. And then you will add your attack bonus to it to try and match its armor class. So you rolled a 12 plus 6, that will be an 18. Your spell will hit, so you can go ahead and roll your damage. Alright. This does 1d10, I think. Um, yes. yes. 1d10 fire damage. Is it in range? They're pretty freaking far away. Yeah, it's 120 range. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Uh, and you targeted the first one again? 
It'll be the first one, yeah. Okay. Awesome. So next is uh, Maka. How do you change the turn order? Because right now it only shows uh, this uh, Magoo and Johnny. I believe it automatically added them because of the way they rolled. I'll have to figure that part out. I need to f see that. I don't know how to add people. You have to really. add us manually or something then? I don't think so, because I think I didn't add them. Like, it automatically was there. I'm wondering if it's because of the way they rolled for their initiative that it automatically added them. Yeah, I just clicked on the initiative button on the character sheet. There we go. You aren't currently any tokens on this page that take a turn. Right click on a token and choose add a turn. You can use the shortcut control U to quickly add groups. Oh, okay, so let's do select control U. Tonight's a learning night. Nice, there we go. Okay, so now you're all here. Um... And it was Lydia, then Roland, then Adremelech, and then Maka, and then the enemy would go, and then it was Demon Kelfelli. Perfect. So it is now Maka's turn. What would you like to do? Can I just stare at everyone and judge them silently? <laughs> you can do that, yes. I mean, I can't just waltz up and hit them. They're out of my range, and I don't have any ranged spells, so I'm kind of useless. Have fun, mean, guys! What's you your speed? Up. 30. Yeah, so you can move up 30 feet. <laughs> you want to send your druid up against two wars? <laughs> you want to I'm just saying that it's possible. <laughs> I don't know this guy yet. <laughs> Female Tifa. Oh my god. It is your turn, demon. What would you like to do? Come on, Leroy Jenkins. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go up. I don't know how to go up that far. I'm gonna go up like right there and just uh, wait until they get in range closer. Stare at them menacingly. Yeah. Hold your attack. What? Right. Hold my attack to if they come in range. Uh, Kelf, it is your turn. You can move up to 50 feet. Good lord. <laughs> can I pause this game? Yeah, no, I guess she wants to talk to me, but she's like, well, what, can I call you? And I was like, no, I'm, I'm busy. And she's like, busy doing what? And I was like, I told you, I'm drunk and I'm playing video games. Or not, I'm playing games. And she was like, can't you just pause it? I'm like, <laughs> no. Kelsey, you going to come join me and hold up here? We can be the front line. <laughs> All right, so I will protect you. Move 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, yeah, that's, that's good. Um, and I'm assuming you're not going to take an action, so. Since most of your stuff's melee as well. Um, you did look at your character sheet that I made for you, right, Kelfi? To see that you had an ability that would let you, like, charge forward at extra speed. We'll have to pull that out for you eventually. Um, well, I mean, and, um... they're, they're quite a ways away. We don't want to just, like, because then we'll be out of range from people and shit. That'd be... Oh, yeah, yeah, No, you guys are good where you're at. Uh, so now it is Volley's turn. Um, Volley, uh, being the hussy tiefling she is, is going to uh, want to move up to the wargs. Yeah, she is. And is going to move <laughs> there. Oh god, you weren't supposed to go that far ahead. Oh wait, the wargs <laughs> were supposed to move before. Hold on. It's the wargs' turn. Alright, the wargs have Ooh, that's a very good move speed. Okay. 10, 20. So the first warg will move there and is going to mm. attack the closest target to him. Um, Demon, your armor class is... Holy shit, it's 18? Yup, eat it. <laughs> How the hell is your armor class 18 already? I get 16 from the chainmail plus 2 from the shield. Wow, I thought I had higher AC. Okay. So let me look at the wargs attack. So are these wargs with goblins riding them, or is it just the picture? <laughs> uh, they do have goblins on their backs, but the goblins can't be focused until the wargs are taken down. 
Are the goblins yelling? Oh, so we're gonna kill the mouths and then the goblins. Shit. Are the goblins yeah. yelling or anything that I could hear? No. Why doesn't it tell me the... Oh, damn it. Okay, I can grab the monster manual. One sec. I can't even tell. I'm too, I'm too focused on the works in front of me. <laughs> All right, so that makes sense. That makes sense. They will bite, and they have a plus five to hit. Perfect. Okay. So he will swing at you for plus five. Damn. And he will hit. One, two, three. Is 2d6 plus 3 damage. So, Who's why'd you run in here? Uh, demon. 2d6 plus 3? Demon's dead. Oh, oh, oh. Demon's oh dead. my god. Pirate! <laughs> Hi, AC. No I AC. Can just... <laughs> How do you just go and kill, kill Demon first thing? Well, he's not dead, he's just unconscious. The only yeah, way... he, has to, he has to pass some... So, for those that don't know, um, when you get brought down to uh, zero life, the only way you actually die is if it does double of what your total life is. So if I would have hit him for 26, he would have died. Um, but right now he's only unconscious. Now he has to do saving throws every turn. So now... Um, when it's your turn, you'll roll a saving throw, and if you um, roll a one, it's two fails. It's two fails, and if you don't roll a, uh, I forget. I have to look at saving. If you roll a twenty, you get sent up to one HP. Exactly, yeah, and you get three of them. After the third one, um, you die. But somebody could heal you, and you'd be perfectly fine. And so it's TCK first day. No, 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 no. It's fine. Uh, the second warg is going to move up, and he's moving here. That's as far as he can go, and he's not in range of anybody. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so can I heal Can I heal him while he's unconscious? Yeah, for your, yes. your, your, your yeah. move. Okay, cool. For your action. Yeah, it can be your action. Is your uh, heal a, oh, um, a touch heal or a range heal? Range. So it is now the uh, Hussy Tiefling's turn, and the Hussy Tiefling, after seeing the warg attack her new companion, uh, runs in, uh, whips a blazon, and is going to attack the warg. Except her weapon's not added in here yet, so I can't click it. Great. <laughs> One job, Corby. Uh, It's uh, finesse weapons. All right, it's what I keep these around for. So whip is one d four damage, finesse reach. Okay. Nice. Should you do her attack actually, though? Since her <laughs> weapon has reach, she can be ten feet away from it and still attack it. So she will back up one and. Plus, <laughs> God. Um, it's the warning whip. Two, four, and seven. miss. That will not hit. That'll be a miss. Um, but as her fighting, so I don't know which fighting style she chose. I'm gonna assume it was two weapon fighting. So she gets a second attack with her second weapon, which means we will roll again. Man, it's going to miss again. <laughs> oh my god. So uh, now, back to the start. That would be Lydia Nightblossom. 
Okay, so I'm gonna move. Also, in a fussy pout, she throws down one of her whips. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I can see that happening. Yeah, same, actually. Moving back here. I, I thought you were gonna... healing him. I am, but it's a ranged heal. Which one are you casting? Healing word. It has a range of 60 feet, and I need to roll a 1d4. My spell casting modifier. Where is my spell casting modifier? It's wisdom. It's wisdom plus proficiency. Okay. Plus proficiency? Yeah. Okay. Nice. So if you go to your um, your spells page on your character sheet, at the top it says your spell casting ability is wisdom, your spell save DC is 13, and your spell attack bonus is 5. That 5 is what your uh -huh. spell casting ability is. It's your proficiency plus your wisdom bonus. So the 5 already has my wisdom bonus already calculated in, right? Yes. Okay, so, it's, so then he gets healed for 9. Oh, you're, for your healing. Okay, no. So you don't actually gain your proficiency in the healing amount. You only get that for like your attacks and stuff. So you would get the four plus three then. So he would be healed for seven life. I got, I got what you were saying. Okay, so he's healed for seven. Seven HP. Yeah. All right, so and I think that's all I got. All right, so... Does can't, wait, cantrips don't count as like a... I've never played... You have to have a bonus so like, action. How, okay. If you want to do two spells, you have to have a bonus action to do yeah, one. And it has to be able to be cast as a bonus action. There are a lot of cleric spells that can be done like that, though. In fact, I Yeah, to I've seen some that bonus say action. bonus action. Yeah, your heal may actually be a bonus action, I think. One of Casting time is one bonus action for healing work. Yeah. yeah. So you still have an action, technically. Really? Um, All right. I so can I... There. Uh -huh. The red circle... Is your HP your yeah. current HP? Yeah. So if, if you change if you change that, it changes it on your character sheet too. Yeah. Don't change the red circle yet. That's only going to be changing change the game. blue. Change the blue one. Like, well, if you change the okay. red circle, it changes my character sheet's current hit points. Yeah. Yeah. So change the blue one. Yeah. Don't change red. Change blue. <laughs> okay. Red, well, stop. So I can count. I can cast a cantrip too. You can. Yes. You still have an actual action as well. Okay, well, I want to cast. I want to cast Sacred Flame. Okay. Ooh. Let me see. Here. The target must succeed on a Dexterity saving throw or take one d eight radiant damage. So you need to do a saving throw. Saving throw. Yeah, they get. A... What's the number for saving? Uh, thirteen. Yeah. It's ten. Okay, so they saved. Jesus. Okay. So if they, yeah. they save, he takes half damage, is what you said? Or they take no damage? Takes no damage. Okay. So that is it for your turn. Yep, that's it. Next is Roland the Archer. Ranger. I am going to attack that one closest to everyone. Okay. Nope. Yeah. See, I don't like that it does two rolls like that. I mean, I understand it does it because advantage, but... Oh. Yeah, advantage and disadvantage. But I'm always going to assume that first one's the one. Yeah, so you will not hit. Uh, do you have a bonus action you would like to take? Um, no. <laughs> I don't have a bonus action, I don't think. Okay. Uh, then next will be uh, Adrenaline. Check. So I have stated, and um, I will hurl another firebolt, I okay. guess, at the one that's the weakest. Cool. Go ahead and do your attack. So I'm curious, am I the only one that's done damage to it so far? <laughs> uh, no, his. He hit it for ten the first bad. time. Oh. It has to be fucked up. Plus six. Uh, that will hit. Uh, go ahead and roll your and... damage dice. You said it was a 13 plus 6? 1d6. Uh, 1d10 oh. even. 9. So, 
by casting your firebolt into the warg, you critically wound it, and it has become unconscious. While it fell, Yay. it fell on top of the goblin that was on it, crushing the goblin underneath. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fuck you, goblin. Sounds like something I'd do. Hey, pirate. Yes? Is there a way for me to see people's HP, or is that just not a thing? Um, do you, if you click on it, do you see the little, like... No, I can't no. even interact with them. Okay. No. Uh, then, I don't think so, then. Um, let me see if there's a way for me to show these. Yeah, because that would be kind of helpful to be able to see. If I could, yeah, if I could just see the health bars, that would be pretty fucking fantastic to know who I have to butt touch. Yeah. <laughs> no, it does not show it for you guys. I'll have to look and see if there's a way for me to do it. I don't think there is. Okay, yeah, we can... call out when you need butt touches, please and thank you. <laughs> Kel, we, but it's right there. I have to. You know you like it to be scratched back there. Alright, so that first word <laughs> there has a skull on it so that you guys know it's dead since you guys don't see health bars for some reason. Um, so next will be Maka. I'm going to cast Healing Word okay. on someone still injured, right? Yes. Demon. Yeah, I'm going to cast it on Demon. Uh, it's a 1d4 plus my spellcasting ability, which is a 3. Oh. Twice. Why'd you roll twice? I I don't know. I I used the stupid dice roller thing. I said roll once, but all right. Uh, so you healed him. Let's just uh, count the first one. Either one's gonna heal him to full. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, demons okay. go back to full life. Um. And anything else? Would you like to move, or is that ending your turn? Yeah. No. Your I'm healing word was a bonus action, so you can still do like a cantrip or something else. The problem is I don't have any helpful cantrips. Oh. <laughs> no. I am built solely for heal slot abilities only. Uh, Demon, it is your turn now. If you would like to make a choice. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to move over to the other guy and take a swing at him. Okay. Uh, that's not going to hit. A 12 doesn't hit? No, you only get the first roll, buddy. You don't have advantage. Yeah, you know, I rolled a 7, plus the 5 makes it 12, right? Um, I'm pretty sure that's two different rolls. But How did it roll twice? Because when you click on that, it rolls twice, like if you were to have advantage. If you have advantage on your attack, you get to attack roll twice, and you take the better of the two. That's why I think it's automatically doing two. If you look at the, like, hover over the seven, it'll say, um, uh, you rolled a, uh, two plus three. Okay, no, 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 that's just weird. All right, I'll have to figure out how to fix that then. That's fine. Yeah, it's it's stupid that it rolls two attacks like that. It assumes that you have advantage on your attacks. So you just take the, the uh, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like it either. That's why There's I gonna be an option roll. somewhere to fix that. There might be. I haven't, I haven't looked into it. Um, so you will miss, uh, and next will be, uh, Kelf. Or actually, next is... next is. I found out how to fix that demon. Oh. So the warg, having been swung at, is now angry at the paladin in front of him and is going to swing back. Dead. <laughs> so that is plus five. And with his plus five to hit, he will roll a d20. And that's 19, so he will hit. 2d6 plus 3. Just don't crit everything again. And that's a 9. So that's you take 9 damage. You're still alive. All right. uh, Kelf, it is your turn. Uh, what would you like to do? Ounce. You're 
more than welcome to run. All right, so you're going to go in and attack. Um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get a cowardly lion. Oh, the cowardly lion. That means it's Vali's turn. And Vali, after throwing down one whip, pulls out one of her uh, hand axes as a bonus action and charges at the ward to attack. And with the first swing of her whip... Critical fails. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? The whip gets tangled around her own feet as she swings and she falls down effectively killing her second attack. <laughs> that worked, Ash, thanks. Um, so now yep. it goes back around to Lydia Nightblossom. Okay. I think I have my fix too, so it doesn't do advantage anymore. Or whispers you, so everyone can see it. Yeah, I put it in Discord how to fix it. Perfect. Yep. I see it where it whispers rolls. So I'm going to make it public. That's what I did. Never whisper or whisper toggle? I did never whisper. Yeah, I just changed mine too. Okay. So I... Hmm. Give me just a second. Let me think. And healing word is an actual spell for you, correct? Healing word is a spell, yes. Okay. So you have one more spell slot available to cast? Yes. Okay. If that's how that works. Yes. Yeah, so at level one, I believe you only have two spell slots. Um, isn't it isn't it like wisdom modifier plus level? So I should have four. Um, I believe that's the number of spells you can have memorized. Memorized. Okay. So yeah, like, that's fine. If you go, uh, if, like if I look at the cleric right now, it shows at level one, you have two first level spell slots. And you can know. Okay, can so use. does that mean I can only cast two spells, or does that mean I can cast two spells as many times as I want? That means you can only cast two spells before you take a rest. All right. Well, I'm gonna do Sacred Flame, oh. which is a cantrip, and I can do I can do cantrips, whatever, right? Yeah, it's just your action. Okay. Um. All right. Same thing as last time. Dexterity saving throw. Thirteen, yeah. yeah. Um, I guess that's it. That's all I can do. Well, you technically still have one spell slot. But then I can't do anything with spells. True. Every time Until... I hear pirates say slot, I hear slut. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. But I mean, after this, after yeah, so was. after this um encounter, do like do I? get my spell slots back if that you guys rest? choose to rest um a rest is a minimum of eight hours yeah that's what i thought okay <laughs> for y'all it's four hours for me <laughs> i will i'll just leave it i'm not gonna do any more any more spells for now i'm just gonna leave it okay that means it is roland's turn all right i'm gonna attack what's his name what's let's see if it... warg? <laughs> yeah so let's see if this works now. Okay, I assume that hits. Uh, yes, a 20 will hit. Oh, nice. Okay, so you figured out how to do that too. That's pretty cool. Yep. Alright, so 9 damage. It's so cool for me because I can like uh, you guys don't see it of course but like uh, for example if you look at yours uh, Magoo you're like 13 that's right there if I just do minus 9 it automatically does it for me and then I can come back and do plus 9 and it heals you 
<laughs> I don't have to do math. It's so cool. That's all. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, did you want to take another action, or is that the end of your turn? That's the end of my turn. Okay. Um, Adramalich, it is your turn. I will uh, attempt to hurl a firebolt, firebolt at the creature. Okay. Um, you you just whispered me the what it is. <laughs> How do I cast it? There we go. So you'd make a ranged attack spell. Yeah, there you go. And that will be a critical fail. Oh, oh dear. Oh god. So your firebolt explodes in your face, doing mm -hmm. half of whatever your damage die is. So go ahead and roll your damage die. We're just doing really good, guys. <laughs> oh no. Roll <laughs> so one. You take five damage. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I do. So you have two hit points at the moment. <laughs> I do. Oh, God. Wait, is that Demon? No, no that's Johnny. <laughs> Demon has four, power. he has two. Heal the shit out of Johnny. Uh, it is now uh, Maka's turn. Wait, who the fuck am I healing? Johnny! Who is jo I can't see names. Okay, thank you. Adrenaline. How do I think? <laughs> I just link pirate a thing that shows him how to do uh, HP bars and names on tokens. Well, cool. um, I I heal you for fur. Nice. One plus three, so four. Okay. <laughs> Six HP. Six. Well, you're not dying, so you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and did you want to take a bonus action? Or that was your bonus action. Would you like to take an action? No, I'm in range of everyone. I'm fine. OK. Um, then next is Demon. All right, we'll take a swing at this stupid thing again. I don't know, how's it looking? Is it looking like it's... How many hits has it taken? Uh, the beast has taken one hit. And it's really fresh. <sighs> I've done nine damage to it. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna hope... We're gonna hit it and hope things go well. <laughs> go for it. All right. All right. At 21, we'll hit. Go ahead and roll your damage dice. Damn. No, you hit the morning uh, star. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the wrong button. Yeah, I was going to say, you're not hitting for a 14 yet. <laughs> yeah, if you go to your roll there, just hit morning star, it rolls How it for you. you. Roll the damage? Or is there a way to roll the damage? You, t you hit the morning star over here in chat. Like the ward. Morning star. Like that. Did I do that? Or did you do that? I did that. I clicked on morning star. You did that. There you go. So you do eight. Okay. Uh, the creature is now uh, bleeding profusely. Nice. And mm -hmm. Next one hits it, kills it. <laughs> well, it is now its turn to attack. And it is going to swing at the paladin in the crunchy armor that just damaged it. And will miss. Thank god. Oh my god, I actually missed one. <laughs> uh, it is now Kelf's turn. I'm going to be playing with, with how much damage it does if I heal myself, it's still not going to make a difference if it hits or not. So do we know why this lion's just, like, run around with us, or no? Yeah, you guys well, have everybody in your party, technically. Okay. It's a, a friendly cat. lion. A friendly lion. Wait, so am Druid, that. do I have something to do with that? Or, like, would that, like, canonically make sense to give people, like, closure as to why we have a lion? It's an awakened lion. So, um, 
<laughs> they found me. <laughs> Kelphie's lion is an awoken lion, which means um, there, there's there's a story behind Kelphie. You guys just don't know it because, of course, Kelphie won't talk to you guys yet. Um, but yeah. There, there is a story as to why she is more intelligent than your normal average beast. Does Kelphie right. have the ability to talk? You don't know that yet. Kelsey, yeah, really turn, I'm gonna yell, Kelsey, get in here and help us. We're not doing so hot. I mean, we're doing pretty good. She doesn't know that. Okay, She's I'm not us. doing so hot. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. Kelsey, you want to roll we've, anything? Or we've no? killed two guys here, or we've killed like a guy and a half. Yeah. <laughs> we're not too. Oh, like, we're down all our spells, and people are hurt. <laughs> Oh my god, you just zoomed around. <laughs> ah, ah. Are you swimming? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so you have an ability called Running Leap. With a 10 foot running start, you can jump up to 25 feet. <laughs> Excellent. You also have advantage on uh, a roll against a creature if at least one of your allies are within five feet of you. So you got two of them. As long as you're standing near uh, a volley or demon, you gain advantage on your attack. Nice. And I don't know if I actually ever told you what your attack was, if you want to put this in your character sheet somewhere. Your attack is, um, you have a plus five to hit with your bite, and you do 1d8 damage, and you have a plus five to hit with your claw, and you can do two claw attacks, so it is 2d6 plus whatever your bonus is. So you can choose to bite or claw. Claw gives you two attacks, bite gives you one attack. You will claw. Okay, go ahead and roll your uh, 1d20. Uh, your first claw will miss. Go ahead and roll a second 1d20. And you quickly fail and swipe yourself, doing one damage. <laughs> Lots of critical fails tonight. I love it. Uh, if you used all of your movement speed to get there, then you cannot run away. Then you <laughs> One step. Take a step away. <laughs> but you don't want to take a step away. If you do, so take attack an attack of opportunity. opportunity. Yes. You want to stand there, just face to face with him. Well, if you if you leave, he attacks you no matter what. It doesn't matter where you go. If you leave, it doesn't matter. It, as soon as you turn around attack. or back up or do anything like that to get away from him, he gets a swing at you. Yeah, it provokes an opportunity attack. Yeah. So if you're gonna See, move two spots, if you're gonna run away, don't don't run away, don't run away. Just stand next yeah, to him. Yeah, no, just this. stand there for now. All right. Well, he's going to attack you. And he will attack. And he hits you. No. For six damage. Not our mountain lion. <laughs> Demon fox. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite work that way. Demon's not gonna die. To block. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is now uh, Volley's turn. So Volley loses half her movement speed, getting back up and untangling herself. And throws down the other whip, because whips have not done her any good. <laughs> so, in a hus, <laughs> she grabs her axe in two hands and swings. <laughs> and misses. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> I'm glad we're getting all these out of the way. Her white skin now becomes slightly pink in anger. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> what does she say? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know. How is something like How many F's and C's do we get in there? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, it is now Lydia Night Blossom's turn. All right. Um. How are we looking on um, HP for everybody? Anybody uh, super low? Demon is at four hit points at the moment, and <laughs> uh, Kelf is at four hit points as well. Kelf only has okay. 10 HP? <laughs> yes. Demon's only got 13, and he's the tank. Really? Yeah. As much as you? <laughs> Um, the ones who get D12s uh, for eight, or hit higher barbs. Oh, yeah. TikTok. Hold on a second. Oh, okay. I got a question. Okay. What is that? It's a racial thing, the bonus that I get, but so do I get plus two so plus three to all my first level spells with that? Is that what that um is that what that means? Yeah, so that one, so basically that does you roll a 1d4 and you automatically gain plus two to whatever that roll is, plus your wisdom modifier. So uh, that's where the plus five was coming from. Yeah. So if you roll a, um, if you roll a four, and you gain your plus three from your wisdom plus the two of your disciple of life, so that it would give you a plus five. So you did. You do have plus five to your heals. That's just yeah. we didn't know where it came from before. Okay. So, yeah. So that makes sense. I didn't realize you had the <sighs> you had chosen disciple of life. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I want to do range thirty feet. Let me see. Where am I at? Yeah, I can still reach him. I'm going to use Bless for my second spell. You're going to use what? Bless. Oh, you there you go. Bless? Okay. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. That's not what I was looking for. Hold on. Oh, shit. Okay. Just as a reference, Bless is something you would cast uh, before a fight starts, as it's a, yeah. uh, a buff that lasts up to one minute. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to do Healing Word again, since I'm not... I don't want to run up there. Okay. So that's four plus five. So that's nine. Okay. I will fully and heal and demon back up. I'm going to do Sacred Flame one more time, so roll a deck saving throw. Again, 13, so that hits. Okay. Four damage. Um, it's radiant damage, too. I believe you gain... No, you don't. Not yet. Okay, never mind. You don't gain that yet. Okay. All right. Perfect. Um, the target is now limping and snarling while it bleeds. Rolling it is your turn. Well, I'm gonna attack it. Oh, you almost had a uh, crit. Crit, I know. I assume that hits. Yes, that hits. And you hit for five. Okay. The beast is critically wounded and is on its last legs. Oh. Oh God. Adramalich, it is now your turn. You got Kill this. It. Kill it. Throw a rock at it. Cast a spell. Cast a spell. <laughs> One last fireball. Ah, oh, it's not a spell. That's fireball a spell. or fireball? Fireball, Steven. He doesn't get fireball until I think like fifth level. I was gonna say fireball. You're gonna kill I us all. Yeah. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm not near y'all. I have fire resistant, bitches. <laughs> Ew. 
Do I? No, no. Never mind. 16? 16 will hit. <laughs> you have to rage as a barbarian. For one damage. <laughs> and that one damage puts the warg out of its misery. No! Oh. Uh, the warg I believe now... that is called a KS. <laughs> <laughs> the warg falls down out of breath and a small goblin hops off of its back and is terrified. Kill it. No! Interrogate it. Yes. I want to talk to this goblin. I'll talk to it also. Okay. You go first. Well, I mean, I'm Throw not close to it, so I can't... As long it survives. I'm not close to it either. We have to surround it first so it can't escape. Where's the goblin? Hold on, I'm finding it. Oh, Has your bedtime? Um, what time is it? It's almost 11. Midnight. Oh, it's almost midnight for me. It's a good thing I'm off tomorrow. <laughs> Paste. Next. So. And there's the goblin. Is it trying to do anything? Um, it is frightened, as you just killed its warg pet. And it is Maka's turn to do something. Uh, I'm gonna oh, move over here. Oh, hey. Hmm. Um, gonna cast Healing Word on... Kelf. Okay. So heal for six. That will bring her back up to full life. I touched the butt. You're going to blow all your spells in the first battle. <laughs> they both have already, actually. Okay. Uh, and for an action, would you like to do anything? Uh, I mean, I was prepared to do a touch healing, but no. Okay. All right. Uh, next person to act will be Demon. I want to go on the other side of it and like trap it here so that it can't get away if somebody else wants to talk to it. They said they want to question him. Um, now, here's an interesting question for you guys. Do any of you speak Goblin? I do. Nice. Um, I don't. No, I don't. Heck yeah, you know what you need to speak for low levels? <laughs> Goblin and no. So, um, <laughs> uh, what you can do, Demon, if you want, uh, you can take an action to try and, uh, do a strength roll against it. And oh, grapple? It. Yeah. How the hell do I do that? Uh, you use your action and you roll strength against his strength. And since I'm assuming you're proficient in strength rolls... Um, you gain your strength and your proficiency bonus. I am not... Oh, strength rolls? Yes. So you're, How do you know if... you're proficient in strength and constitution, I would assume, as a paladin, if I remember correctly. Saving throws? Yeah, uh, that's also your proficiency. It's wisdom and charisma. Wait, you're not proficient in strength? Hold on. Do you have athletics as a skill? I do. Then you gain proficiency and strength from your athletics. Oh, and okay. Your, your athletics will help you grapple. So you gain your strength at your strength bonus and your proficiency bonus when grappling. Okay, so just roll the strength then? Yes, yeah, so roll a 1d20. And you're rolling against this guy. Yes! I rolled a 1! <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, well... Aww. He grapples himself to the ground. Well, <laughs> you still technically beat the goblin. <laughs> so uh, you're able to uh, grab the goblin, but you're not able to bring him to the ground. You're able to just hold him there. <laughs> That's fine. Um, and so it is now Kelf's turn. Lick it. <laughs> Kelf? Would Kelf the lion like to do anything? Just growl. Sniff it. Uh, 
what you're doing there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that might be a little more than Kelp's speed. Yeah, you can't go all the way in there. That's as far as you can move. Can't jump the fence? Well, I mean... Roll like a acrobatics check. Was there an acrobatics in fifth edition? <laughs> Kelsey found a big boulder. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> okay, uh, it is now technically the goblin's turn. The goblin will try and struggle against you to break out of your strength hold. Roll a d20. That would be you, demon. Please don't roll no. <laughs> Nice, you beat him by one. <laughs> Alright, so he is still struggling and is still caught in your grapple. Uh, it is now Volley's turn. <laughs> uh, Volley um, walks in front of the goblin and without saying a word um, looks at the goblin in its eyes and the goblin calms down immediately. Damn. Damn, Ooh. it's like intimidation. Yes. Oops, that's what I was going to do next. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Growl at it, Kelf. Love it first sight. Uh, <laughs> something like that, yes, actually. Oh. You guys don't know a lot about Valley's background yet. No. Succubus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so having tamed the goblin and calmed it down, she walks off in a hissy fit and goes back and grabs her whip that she dropped over here. <laughs> Stomping away with every every step. Um, that brings it back to Lydia Night Blossom's turn. Um, I want to roll an insight. Okay. And well. what are you trying to insight on? I uh, see what he's doing here, if he plans on hurting us, that kind of thing. If he's docile now. So you're rolling for perception, not insight, correct? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, with uh, your roll of perception, you can see that the goblin is visibly shaken but it seems to be calm um, and you do not see anything else in the area other than the three corpses the two of the warg and the one of the goblin okay anything else no nope, that's it okay. uh actually wait do i still have a movement or no um you moved let's see 5 10 15 20 20 you've already moved your thing. oh no i don't because i moved 35 already never mind Unless I can move 30. Can't I move 35 again? If I have a second... No, you can only move up to your max movement speed once. Is it okay. Unless you take a dash for your action or something. Yeah, you can take a dash as your action, yes. Okay, no, I'm good. Okay, uh, next is Roland. It's gonna come on down here. Gonna ask it Wait, you if jump there's... down the tower? Don't you have to take like, like, damage or something like that? There's a ladder. It's a ladder. Moving down the ladder is going to... It's a 25-foot tall tower. <laughs> okay. Well, fine. <laughs> technically, so you guys don't have to be in your turns right now. You guys are technically done with the battle since you subdued the yeah. goblin. So it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, with that being the case, first I'm going to go over here and pick up all my arrows. Okay. Yeah, that's shot. what I want to do is pick <laughs> up my... Bullet and they come back over the here, bow. ask the goblin how many more of them are there around here. Okay, the goblin, um, still being shaken but subdued, uh, mutters 
to number six. I do insight, see if it's lying. Okay, go for it. Oh, you were terrible at that. How do you get that when you're charismatic as fuck? Wow. Okay. Uh, you can tell that the goblin is lying, but uh, <laughs> the goblin itself doesn't know that it is lying. Goblins are a fickle <laughs> race and don't know when they're being stupid. Okay. All right. Do we want to keep this one hostage or kill it? I want to keep it hostage. Well, I don't think it's. It'd be nice to just kill it if it. I mean. Ooh. What alignment are we? Uh, you're all very different. All right. Oh, uh, I. I don't. Can we send I mean, him across the drawbridge? Ask him, and him what he's doing leave? here. Ask him what he's doing I don't here first. Kill him. Like, right, they, I'm is gonna... he here? Is he here just to kill people? Like, what, why is he here? I guess I'm the only one that speaks Goblin, so I'll be well, asking yeah, all the questions. Yeah, I can't ask him. <laughs> yeah, you're the translator. So yeah, asking what's doing here. Um, in my best Goblin voice, we here kill humans. Okay, yeah, kill him. Kill it. All right. All right. So y'all are just gonna slit its throat or what? Yeah, no, Fuck dude. Yeah. If, if it's here to kill humans, it's it's no good. Let's get rid of it. Okay. <laughs> all right all right so it is now dead as well uh so now that gives you guys yes uh do you guys want to loot yeah i was waiting for everyone to leave to do it <laughs> all right so uh in checking the corpses uh you find two saddlebags on the wargs uh, oh was going to kill simple bags that can wrap <laughs> Inside the saddlebags, you find some basic rations and ten gold pieces. Oh, so we're gonna split those, those, those gold pieces, right? Give it to the cleric. They kept us alive. Well, I didn't get any heals from the cleric. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't also kill it. it means we'd have to give it to uh, a Dremelech. Are we gonna have a banker <laughs> or what? Uh, that's up to you guys. You could technically all split the gold as you get it, um, or you could have... It depends on how, how much you guys trust each other. Um, in exactly. My, in my past case... Alright, let's just split it. Let's we'll split for right now, <laughs> until we know each other better. Sounds good. So you could call. would gain one gold piece each, and there would be three gold pieces waiting to be given out. And Hold you, them in the community until we get enough to split it evenly. As you loot the other two goblins, um, you find four gold pieces, a rusty short sword, and a broken dagger. Uh, seven gold now, so everyone gets another gold? Everyone would now officially have two gold. And what else was it besides the gold? A rusty short sword and a broken dagger. Uh... Maka, you get the extra gold. The line's being nice. Lion pushed its gold towards you. Oh. I'm going to uh, I'm going to take those items, the broken sword or broken dagger and rusty sword. Okay. So who's holding the extra gold pieces? Can I hold the extra gold? Well, we don't have any extra gold. Split it evenly now. We found enough to split. I it thought even. there was like one extra. Is there seven people in our party? Yes. Am I crazy? Yep. There is seven people in your party. I'm crazy. Never mind. All right, uh, I got all my arrows. Do I see any extra arrows from them or anything like that around here? No, you do not see any extra arrows. Do we see any other bodies around? Uh, there are no, surprisingly, very good question. Um, you see no like other bodies. Like humans or anything. Yeah, you see no other bodies in the immediate vicinity. Do we hear anyone yelling or anything like that? Suspiciously, the bell that you guys heard ringing earlier has now stopped. Which direction did we hear the bell from? Uh, the bell was coming from the tower. The, uh, the big castle key. The castle? In the middle. Okay, the bottom south area. Yeah. yeah, 14F is where you guys were hearing the bell from. Well, towards that area anyway. 
not I mean, really from there, but it's it's south. You hear the bell. You heard the bell south of you. Is how's uh, everyone how's doing on health? And that's what I was going to ask. Everyone healed up. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm one health off maximum. Okay, Most so overall. everyone's pretty good. Kelf, how you doing? Mr. Yeah. Mr. Lion. But Mrs. Me, Lion. Um, me and Maka don't have any spells left, as far as I know. That's what I was going to say. Like, yeah. If we're going to go into battle, I don't want to go into we battle like catnips. another two wargs if we're going to... Did you just say directly. catnips? I did. Yeah. Catnips. He did. <laughs> catnips. <laughs> what? I mean, if we're going to... If we're gonna keep going, we're gonna have to go slow and careful. We can't afford another fight like that. I mean, I have enough cantrips to 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 heal. Yeah, technically cantrips That's, never run out. Yeah, they don't ever run. So we're good yeah. on heals. <laughs> um, I've got one cantrip that's that does damage, so Sacred Flame? Yeah, that's it. Sacred Flame gets very strong if you choose the right uh, direction to go. Yes, it does. And I don't have my cantrips. Don't heal. I'm gonna come up here yep. and try to rub uh, Kelfie's belly. Oh, you get bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! I'm waiting to see what Kelfie says. Bites Magoo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not healing your dumbass. Uh, un- uh, it's 16, don't so don't actually fight him. Uh, you do. Well, you can nip, nip at him. No, she Mal won't. Does. That's how serious. It's, it's below my armor class. Uh, but it's 11 plus five. That's a 16, uh, which is above your. Ah, uh, plus one, <laughs> one buff. Ooh. I can't do an athletic check to see if I can jump back for bites or acrobatic. Uh, you can roll acrobatics to see if you're able to get out of range of it. Okay. Kelfie, go ahead and roll another d20, and you gain your dexterity bonus. Oh! Which is plus three, by the way. <laughs> oh, so... She needs to get those rolls <laughs> fixed! <laughs> so, Kelfie, False hope. you. How strong are you going to bite, Kelfie? Are you going to roll an actual dice, or are you going to do just one damage? <laughs> um, Magoo has 13 hit points. <laughs> I would like we we still got a lot of work to do. Just nip him. Oh come now, it'll be a little fun. Here I am trying to be. I'm nice. not saying you gonna... deserve it at this point. I was gonna go fishing, fish up some fish for her. <laughs> you rubbed your belly or tried to rub your belly? Yes. I tried to rub the belly. You just don't go up to a strange cat and try to rub its belly. You, you're a ranger. You should know this stuff. He, he never technically touched you because you uh, went to bite him before he touched you. Oh, I'm definitely going to get my animal, animal handling up. <laughs> I want to ride Kelfie into battle. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, this lion appears extremely intelligent. You should ask permission before doing something like that. Uh, appear? She hasn't said anything to us. Alright, so then roll a 1d8. To be clear, though, I'm not the one that decided to try and rub the lion's belly. So you'll do one damage to him. There you go. <laughs> Here's a flesh wound. I, I'm like, we're, I'm protecting an intelligent animal here. You guys should be considerate. All right. So oh, you changed my tree. From your area's advantage, you guys can see a little bit more now. You are able to see up to this, and that is all you can see for now. All right, are we going to do it like a slow and steady, like, careful check everything? Are we going to rush towards the bell? What are we going to do? Uh, 
I'm following whoever. I'm in the back. Ms. Mountain Lion, what do you think? You wanna go stealth? Prowl? Uh, you do technically have a skill. Um... You have, well, that's chase down. That's not your stealth ability. You, you have a natural stealth. Um, you have a plus five to your natural stealth bonus. Are we going to stealth and explorer? Which, which, let's go north. You want to check out the, there's a couple of houses up there and see if there's any people alive. So here, I'm going to reveal this. Let's do some looting. <laughs> I'm going to reveal the like numbers and stuff on the map. So that you guys can like have directions on like where you'd like to go and explore and shit. Make it a little bit easier, I think. It's easier for me anyway to explain the areas um, as you get to it. You're not revealing much of it. You're revealing a bunch of like tiny ass squares. Yeah. You guys oh, you guys can't see those? Seriously? No. You're revealing a bunch of tiny squares in black. That's so stupid. Okay. <laughs> so those squares have like letters in them on my screen. I didn't know you guys didn't see those. Well, that's stupid. Okay. <laughs> Super professional, Jim. I didn't know Roll20 didn't do that. With the... I've never actually used the hide thing. The only thing I've ever used oh, on yeah. is the maps. Okay. Um. So. Uh. Then yeah. Um. This is what you can see so far. You see. A building to your north, uh, you see uh, what looks to be an inn um, to your northeast above where Roland is at. You see a large home uh, to the far east. Um, you see a farm and a small hut to your south, as well as another small house uh, when you guys came in to the south. Are we get a stealth or are we just going to run up there and start checking stuff? Yeah, if you guys don't roll for stealth, you don't get your natural stealth. That, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm asking. Listen, okay, I forgot a very, very crucial step of this whole investigation process. Thank you. Um, so Ashley and Maka are both uh, stealthed enough. I'm stealthing. Super Rams. sneaky. Um, Adramalech is not stealthed enough. Uh, Demon is not stealthed enough, and Magoo is stealthed enough. Ha! <laughs> Is this the end right here at the north? Well, Ash, did you um, did you what kind of armor did you take? Leather. Damn it. Why? Because I'm the only one who causes disadvantage. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Um, so, <laughs> uh, I don't know who wants to take lead here, but technically, a few of you are stealthy enough right now to do something. Uh, roll a d20 and add your uh, uh, dexterity and proficiency to it. You can click your stealth on under skills and it'll do it automatically. Pirate, what is the building that I'm in front of right now? Is this the inn? That's the inn. Yes, that is the inn. Lit. I want to go in there. I follow. <laughs> what is this building that I'm in front of? It's a large house. I want to go in there. Y'all are splitting your forces already. Wonderful. You're at the hey, window. Yes, we are. You're not even at the door. <laughs> Demon, come come wait outside this door with me while I go in there and be sneaky. Wait, do I have a sneaky person or do I have a loud, dumb person? All right. You have a ranger with you. I'm Just sneaky. Don't go in. Okay. We're all going to die. So, um, who wants to go in first? Which one of y'all is ready to go first? I am inside the door. Okay. So, you are... You walk in and notice a temple. Um, oh, shit. The wooden temple is dedicated to Lathander, the god of the dawn, and Maliki, the goddess of forests. It has a slender steeple containing a large bronze bell and stained glass windows depicting images of birth, the dawning sun, trees, and unicorns. When the characters first arrive, the front door to the temple is wide open and the bell up at the top is slightly ringing. Did you say unicorn? Spooky. 
Yes. Uh, Wait, the who's one in there? The symbol of the goddess Maliki. That's amazing. That's the, okay. uh, if you're a Forgotten Realms fan, that is actually the god that uh, Dritz follows. That's why he has So the... is this is this one big room, or is this just the first room inside this house? So as you walk in, um, you enter the main of the temple, and uh, sunlight pours in through the high vaulted chamber through four stained glass windows set into the north and south walls. Beneath the windows are plain wooden benches for the elderly or infirm to sit on. The room is mostly empty otherwise. Standing against the back wall in the, is a wooden pulpit with steps leading up to it. The floor of the temple is composed of dirt. Set into the west wall, north of the pulpit, is a half-open door. Go in the door. Steven, come in this, is it okay clear, in? this temple with me, and then I'm going to go in that door. Alright, I'm coming in. Okay, I'm going in the door. Okay. I see I see what you just described, and uh, I say... <laughs> so, um, are you just opening the door and walking in? I'm going to let you do a little, right little sidestep sneaky move into the room. Um, you notice that this back room contains a plain wooden bed where you're assuming the villager's acolyte uh, slip, sleeps. Um, the mattress has been torn open and its straw pulled out onto the floor. The floor is strewn with contents of two wooden chests, um, priestly vestments, and worthless personal effects. Um, but you do not see anybody in the room with you. Okay. Um, can I roll something to see what kind of creature would have torn the bed up like that? Would, is it just goblins? You can try and roll a perception check, sure. Holy shit. You're very <laughs> perceptive. Percept the shit out of it. <laughs> with your uh, with your perception, you are able to tell that it appears two goblins have ransacked the room. <laughs> um, you can see that there is a uh, small cubby that leads up to the top of the steeple inside the room that uh, is hard to see with the naked eye, and you can tell that somebody has recently used that pathway. Okay, I want to go up there, but demon, come into this room while I go up there. <laughs> room? Is there another room? I don't know, just stand where you're standing and know that you're in this room. Okay. And I'm if, I, if, Take if six. I give a signal, then come up that into that cubby. I'll like, so if I hear a high pitched girly scream, like I'm running. Yeah, basically, yeah. Alright, I'm going in there. Okay, you are stealthy enough. Go ahead and walk up. And as you go up, you notice two goblins hanging on a rope attached to a bell swinging back and forth. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Are, okay, so they're, they're dead, right? <laughs> they're dead. No, 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 no. Not being hung. They're, like, swinging on it for fun. <laughs> well, shit. Demon? Hello? <laughs> Is that your screen? Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna. Use, no, I didn't scream, but uh, how do stuff. I do? Do they? Do they, they don't see me, do they? They did not notice you now. Okay, I'm gonna turn around and go back. Did you see anything? Go ahead. So there's what's, two what's goblins there? up there swinging from a rope, and they didn't see me. Okay, well, I'm not sure we should go at it. Dude, just yeah, no, let's, let's, just let's, let's, let's get some more people, <laughs> or forget it. No, uh, what's going on, so let's just leave. Volley, okay. uh, followed you guys to the doorway and sees you guys coming out. The door's over there? Yeah. Yes, this is, that's why I was, oh my god. It's, there's like no road to it, though. So, there are two goblins in here that are swinging from a rope. Oh. oh. Well, uh, being like a... We should probably have everyone just so we can like one shot them. I don't know. I don't know if we want to do like an extended that. fight with them. Yeah, we let's go to their house and we'll uh, 
Do we want to go in there, just the three of us? I mean, I don't have any... We can, if you want. I mean, I'd just a goblin. probably I mean, be the main right. thing... Yeah, the main thing that was the problem last time was... It wasn't the goblins. Elf it? The goblins were easy to kill. So, I mean, if we want to go in there, just us three, then we can take the goblins on. Alright. If you if we want to go in, I can go, I'll go in first and just go... Try, see if I can hit one first. But you're at disadvantage. Oh, can I, like, go in there and so do... They're going to hear us coming if I go in first. If you want to go in and try to hit one with the crossbow bolt and get their attention, I can be in front of you to, like, take take the, the assault as they're coming at us. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go in the, the cupboard, and I'm going to try and hit one with a crossbow bolt. But see, those are pretty loud. Okay. Oh, well. Well, you can like, like hit it. Like I'll duck down. You can hit it from over my shoulder, and then as they come running at us, I'll be in front. Okay, that's right, like, one. Okay. Wait, pirate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you coming with us? Why are you laughing? <laughs> if it, with you, if yes. the D, GM's smiling, it's already too late. Oh God! Run! Uh, <laughs> Is it too late to leave? <laughs> Well, now that those two are in there with you, it's kind of too late, because they're going to be making noise. Well, yep, I'm loud as fuck. Um, I was going to give you advantage on your attack roll, because you are being stealthy and attacking an unaware creature. See, smiles aren't always bad. So nice. that's... That was, okay. And All right. He's got so something up his sleeve. Awesome. Advantage on your attack roll means you get to roll twice. I'm sure you know that. And you get the higher of the two. Oh, well, God. shit. <laughs> well, it's eight plus five, right? So, or eight plus four? Um, you're, you will hit. Oh, okay, good. And crossbow is 1d8, right? Um, a light crossbow is... 1d4, I think. I thought it was 1d8. I might be crazy. Probably. It's my longbow is 1d8. A light crossbow. Yeah, a light crossbow. Yeah. It just requires loading right. and two Six. hands. Yes. Six so, damage. Six plus uh, your dexterity bonus. Okay, which is three. So right? nine damage. Nice. Which one are you attacking? Top. The closest one to me. That would be. So that top one. I guess. Which one's closer to me? Technically, they were both standing, like, or swinging next to each other, so. You attacked Pojo. Which one is Pojo? That? Yeah, they all have he names. Sounds pretty you cool. You can't see the names either, seriously? No. Yeah. Oh, no, we can't. I sent you a link. There's an option to display names in HP bars. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll, I'll mess with it. It's just going to be a pain in the ass because you have to go through each token and do it. That's fine. I mean, I'll have like a week of prep time every time, so that's that's not a problem. Okay, so you attacked the first one. Yep, and I think that's... Um, I can't do a cantrip or anything on top of that, right? That's just my move. That's your move, yeah. So now that you have right. taken a stealth attack, everyone needs to roll initiative. <laughs> everyone that's in there. <laughs> Oh, look at you. Alright, so Demon, um, and then Volley, and then the Goblins will go last. But right. the, who else is in here with us? Somebody else in here with us. Volley, that's why. Me. Oh, that's what you rolled for. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I thought you were rolling for the Goblins. Uh, that was the second roll. You only see one. Um, after hearing oh, no with mind. your keen hearing, you can now move in, yes, but you still need to roll for initiative kill. So roll a d20. There you go. Uh, you will go third. Okay, so demon, it is your move. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go right in front and swing at it. Okay. <laughs> Morning star. What the fuck? Um, 
Wow. You miss. <laughs> Sorry. Just... All right. Whatever. I'm done. <laughs> Please don't hit me. Vol These things have like eight to ten HP, I think. Looking to redeem herself, Vali walks up with her two whips and swings at the closest goblin. And we'll hit with the first attack. And the second attack. The one that I attacked, is it bloodied or no? Yes. And that is one, so two, two, so five damage to that one. Okay, somehow I just closed out of everything. Mine crashed on me. It's crashing me twice now. <laughs> okay, well, luckily. Um, with her whips, swinging them with a fury unknown ever seen before, <laughs> she kills the goblin. Actually hitting things this time! Right? <laughs> um, dealing five damage twice, she uh, kills that goblin. And after finally hitting something, throws her arms up in the air and screams. <laughs> um, it is now Kelf's turn. You need to do a, um, a Xena impression. Oh, I need to do a Xena impression? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. Um walks in carefully, okay. <laughs> the gobble? <laughs> Bite the head off. Hey guys, this wasn't as hard when they don't hit us first. <laughs> <laughs> the goblins, come on. <laughs> yeah, they also had, it wasn't just goblin, goblins we were fighting before. Kind of All right, so uh, what would y'all like to do anything now that you guys have effectively taken care of the two goblins? Yeah, we're going to loot them. Okay. So in the room, the goblins that you killed uh, dropped two sacks. Um, the first sack contains three blocks of incense worth about five gold pieces each, a silver holy symbol of Maliki, uh, shaped like a unicorn also head, mine. worth about 25 gold pieces, and some Holy stolen shit. and worthless personal effects. The other set yeah. holds three empty vials that used to contain holy water, and an unlocked wooden pour box containing 37 copper and 15 silver. Okay. I I don't know. I kind of think we should just uh, hold the poor box aside in case uh, we find any survivors. And I mean, it's their money. Um. So I want to hold on. Yeah, I want to hold on to the uh, incense. And you said it was like a holy cross. The other one. I'm gonna hold on to those. It's a unicorn symbol. head. It's a yeah, it's a unicorn head. Symbol. It's a Hell holy symbol yeah. for Maliki. Alright, well I'm going to hold on to those, and if I can't find their owners, then that ship's mine. I want to check uh, around to see if there's any dead bodies, other than the goblins. Yeah, do we see the, um, the acolyte in here? Um, 
you see no dead human bodies in the uh, temple. Okay, and there's no more rooms. That was the last room, right? That is the last room, yes. You have officially searched the temple. All right, let's okay, walk outside and... Uh... They can search the inn now if they want. All right, we're going to sneak into the inn. I mean, by the time we took, they, they probably searched stuff already. Yeah, officially you guys won't be able to help with this part if y'all split up. The only person that would be able to help them would be uh, um, Adramelich. Am I saying that right, by the way? Yeah, I, w I meant to ask him earlier, is there a way to shorten your name? Adramelech. Adramelech? Adramelech, okay. A and you go by Adramelech, not like Ad or Adra or... Absolutely hey. not. There is, there's no compromise on the name. Okay. <laughs> I'm calling him Lech from now on. <laughs> I was going to say. Who just left? No, oh, Ash just left. It's not letting me pull up roll 20. It keeps giving me a server error. Oh, that's weird. What yeah, a I've tried like six times. Browser. Chrome. Hmm. I got Firefox to work pretty good. It's been yeah. fine this whole time. This is the first time I've had a problem with it. So the one bad thing about Roll20 is if there are a ton of people using Roll20 at the same time, not like just us, for example, but if like the servers get packed, it does get kind of slow. That's why I chose Tuesday nights, because Tuesday nights aren't usually a very busy D&D &D night for most people. The weekends on Roll20 are a pain in the ass. It looks like it's good now. I'm in and pulled up my character sheet, so I should be fine. I mean, there's a lot of data going through it, especially if they're doing like webcams and shit like you are. Exactly, yeah. And using the voice and having... Especially for a, a free app, I mean... Exactly. I mean, well, you paid for this campaign at one point, but, I mean, there's free campaigns on here. In order for me to have you guys add your character sheets and do a lot of the stuff we're doing, I have to be a member, so I pay, like, a $5 monthly fee, but... Because I pay, oh. you guys don't have to, which is really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so, um, Roland and Maka, would you guys, uh, are you guys ready? Huh? Yeah, we're sinking in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're doing it. On the outside of the Nightstone Inn, uh, an ornate wrought iron sign bearing the inn's name hangs above the entrance facing the town square. Um, you recognize this inn as the Nightstone Inn, who is owned by the shield dwarf named Morag Urgre. Okay. As you walk How would I know that? Um, you guys had prior knowledge of that before coming to Nightstone. This is a very famous inn. Uh, I'm so, walking, what do I see? As you walk in, you enter the dining room. Uh, the room is strewn with wreckage. A giant's rock punched through... Oh, here, hold on. There we go. Um, so, uh, a giant's rock punched through the roof and landed here, destroying the, a dining table and a pair of long benches. You say a giant's rock or a giant rock? A giant's rock. Okay. No oh, shit. <laughs> uh, the remaining uh, remains of a bed and a wardrobe from the chamber above lie among the shattered dining room furnishings. Two smaller round tables and several chairs remain intact and resting atop each table in an unlit oil lamp. Um, would you guys like to do a perception check? Yes. Okay. I mean, I guess. Shit. Um, is anybody else going to be traveling with you guys? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you get a roll for perception, Adremelech. I will. Adremelech. I only saw one roll. Who else rolled? Right. Damn! Ooh, 21. Uh, 
with your perception check. Um, you well, if, if he's is he per, uh, proficient or does he, he doesn't have advantage? No, he only gets a plus three, which is what his wisdom bonus is. Um, you can uh, hear someone rummaging through the kitchen. Would you guys? Like There's a kitchen. Room? There's a kitchen. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes, let's uh, go over there quietly. Like okay. Would you like to do your stealth rolls? Uh... Okay, uh, you are all stealthy enough. <laughs> <laughs> Bless for that critical fail. <laughs> As you approach the kitchen, lying on the floor in the middle of the room is a dead goblin with a crossbow bolt sticking out of its chest. Is it saying you're crying anything, or is it just... It's a dead goblin. Oh, if they said dying. No, dead. Alright, uh, I'm gonna walk up to it and search it. I mean, dead things can talk. Uh, you're not a necromancer. Nope. Listen, out of everyone, I'm the one who looks like a necromancer, all right? Um, would anybody like to do a uh, perception check for the room on the goblin? Yeah, I was walking up to check it out. <laughs> okay, roll your wisdom check. Wait, wisdom? Uh, perception is wisdom, yeah. Okay. I did the thing. Okay. Um, you notice that the wound is fresh and that it has uh, only been dead for a few minutes at the most. Okay, I tell everyone that someone's probably nearby. The hell's... Um, so, do I see any, like, silverware or anything like that? Um, as you look around the room, you look up, and you can notice a, uh, there appears to be a person lurking in the shadows of the room Fuck. above you. Can I see that with my dark vision? Yeah. Yes. Uh, both of your perception checks were high enough. Uh, okay, but I can't see who or what they are or if they're armed. Does it look like a human or anything like that? or? Um, it is a humanoid or human type. You can't see perfectly, even with your dark vision. Because they're like... They have magical hiding. Crap, I don't have a dispel. You can't tell uh, that there is a crossbow in their hand, though. Oh, right, that can just uh, fuck right it, off, then. Is it aiming at us? Uh, it's kind of pointed to the ground at the moment. Um... I ask, what's going on? Who are you? Um, they're in a room up above you by 15 feet. Oh, no. Are you gonna yell oh, okay. I thought you meant... No, no. Do they notice us? Um, they are spying on you, but do not notice that you have noticed them. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, you want to try to sneak up on him? I mean, they're upstairs. There's always a... Yeah, that's why I'm asking, uh... Ashley. Ash isn't in there with you. Oh, god damn. Oh, fail! <laughs> I'm on my Discord up, I can't see who's in. It's, uh, Maka. Maka's in there with you. And it's technically, creepy. the Dremelich is also in there with you. So, do you guys want to walk up there and try to sneak up on them? You're welcome to. And I can stay down here, let them keep <laughs> looking at me. I'm not very sneaky, but I'll give it a go. I'll be the distraction down here. That's very smart of you, by the way. Kel, if you were with us, you can't... I mean, you're going to have to wait a couple rounds for them to search and do stuff before you can go help out. Um, so is that what Joe's plan is? Uh, Roland will stay in the uh, pantry area to keep the attention of the spy while the other two of you continue to explore the room? Sure. Okay. Yeah, uh, sure.
Ah. There we go. I moved your characters around for you a little bit. <laughs> um, so as you guys leave the pantry and head into the kitchen, a goblin named Gum Gum is searching through the rubble of the inn's pantry and stuffing edibles into a large stack sack that is almost too heavy for her to drag, let alone carry. Ah. Uh... So, I'm still in the same room with that one guy spy? Yeah. And then there's a there in the room with the goblin. Okay. Yes. So I can't say anything to the goblin. Uh, yeah, because who are the people that were proficient in goblin language? Just roll. Me! <laughs> Alright, fair enough. You guys notice the goblin as it is stuffing things into its sack. Uh, would y'all like to do anything? Kill it and find the sack. <laughs> well, we're here for loot, aren't we? Are we still not paying attention to the spy that has a crossbow? I'm the one distracting it. It's in the room with me, or above me. You guys aren't in the room with the spy anymore. Roland is in the room with the spy by himself. Oh, fair enough then. Uh, I mean, Roland's gonna have to do something. I have nothing. You have a weapon, don't you? I'm not walking up and meleeing a goblin. Why not? It has like eight HP. I'm trying to spell at it. What weapons do you have? <laughs> I have a staff and a mace. The mace! <laughs> oh, the staff! You get two handed staff. Good blunt weapons to knock something out. Ugh. Fine. <laughs> if you roll a stealth check, um, I will see whether or not it notices you as you approach. As soon as I remember where stealth is. It's the second to the last skill. And goblins are very stupid. You're about as stealthy as a herd of buffalo. Oh my god. <laughs> so as you approach, the goblin hears you coming and readies itself. Initiative? Yes, roll for initiative. Ah, uh, shit. Cinco. The goblin will go first. Holy shit! A fucking course it does! Seeing the crazed tiefling druid with a mace in its hand and a staff in the other, getting ready to bonk it on the head, it decides to attack. I don't like it when he's finally. <laughs> you don't like it? It's attacking me! Plus two, uh, that will hit you. Eleven plus two. Um, it takes out a frying pan from its sack and swings it at you. <laughs> it's a frying pan. <laughs> Hitting you for three damage. Okay. Uh, now it is your turn, Maka. Right, I'm gonna swing my mace and hit this son of a bitch back. Okay. Uh, what exactly do I roll for that? Uh, Initiative. 1d20 first. Well, then, yeah. To see if you actually hit. Uh, you will hit with that. And a mace is a 1d6 damage. Is that for one handed or two hands? It's for one hand. <sighs> and you add your strength to it. So plus three. So you hit for four damage. Halfway there. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna go there. And I'm gonna fireball it. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. 
of curiosity, what spells did you take? At the minute, Firebolt and uh, Color Spray. Those are, blind. Just, those are just cantrips. You should have some actual level 1 spells as well. Right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> this will be fine for now. Okay. Well, I only say that because one of my favorite spells in the game is available to you at level 1. Magic missiles. Oh, yeah. Uh, I won't be taking them. What? Primarily fire. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Anything, anything solar related. That's cool. Pyromaniac. Fire! Fire! Alright, so uh, go ahead and roll your damage. Or your uh, attack. Uh, yep, let's see if this works. Uh, that was your damage on it. That wasn't your actual attack roll, I don't think. Alright, I'll do the attack roll now. Plus six. And that will hit. So you will do five damage and kill that goblin. Nice. Um, so, would you guys like to do anything now that the goblin has died? Lose it. I want that damn frying pan. Okay. <laughs> So, inside the sack, uh, there are several mu muffins, a block of cheese, Ooh. a cooked chicken, a frying pan, Ooh. an iron pot, a bullseye lantern, two flasks of oil, a set of cook's utensils, a jar of cloves, a jar of saffron, a dented silver jug, and a cracked hourglass. Huh. We got a cooking supplies. I would say if I was in there. Smooth. Oh, who left? And they're back. Was it Kelfie? I was typing a few things in DMs explaining. So she, probably, she might click the wrong button. Um, so uh, you guys can do what you want with that sack at the moment. Might as well just bring it back to the group. Okay. Mm-hmm. I agree. Would you guys or like we could set it on fire with the oil. <laughs> you guys still have to go upstairs. <laughs> we could set the house on fire and burn the spy in it. <laughs> or we could ask the spy what he's doing and question him. <laughs> or we could just kill him. I think... Uh, and steal his pants. Kill, kill, killing him would be better than burning the place down. I mean, we can just do two and one. But you want me to loot the place then if it's on fire. <laughs> and also, it's a famous inn. It might uh, piss off some other people. You mean the dead people? You don't oh, know yeah, everyone's dead. Bodies yet, have you? I know. <laughs> but they're not here. They have to. <sighs> yeah, doesn't mean they're dead. <laughs> one can hope. <laughs> Uh, by now, by the way, you guys have finished with your battle in the temple and could join them in the end if you'd like to. Yeah, I want to do that. Yep. Let's go upstairs and check up. Volley is going to post guard at the western entrance of the inn. Lydia Night Blossom decided she didn't want to move. Sorry, I was, I was doing. You weren't paying attention. I know exactly what you're doing. No, I was. Pay I said that I wanted to move. I just was finishing adding spells the right way. So. <laughs> you gonna do anything, Kel? Or are you just gonna prowl around? We know, but we have to explore. How, how how are you gonna like tell us that? Are you gonna like grab the hem of somebody's robe and try to pull them south? Are you gonna like roar and like toss your head south? Have we seen any saucers in this kitchen? I mean, you don't need people to. That's up to you. If you want to go charging south on your own, you were running away from goblins and wargs earlier. 
All right, so uh, you guys now have an option to, from where you're at in the kitchen, you see stairs that lead upwards to what you would assume is the bedrooms of the inn. And as you guys uh, leave the kitchen uh, with the sack on your back, I guess, if you, that's what you were doing, um, you notice Demon and Lydia come in with you. Anyway. All right, we we found a temple off to the the, the, the west here of the, the inn. There was uh, two goblins in there. We we, we dispatched them. Uh, what, what happened to you guys? What did you guys find? Uh, did you get anything off those goblins? Uh, there was they hit a poor box on them. And there was there was a couple of uh, there was a holy symbol and a couple of yeah. We're things. just waiting to see if we find Nothing the owners really of the items so we can uh, uh, return them. All right. Well, I can't really see anything because I got a spy looking at me. <laughs> Wait, they're a spy? What spy? I am doing... I might have put my back to the spy. Are you like, just going to like, talk about spy <laughs> while you're in the game room? <laughs> I'm not saying this out loud in player. I mean... What uh, do you so mean? Is, I don't know what you're talking about. This pointing. You you're pointing right at the person? No, I'm pointing where to go. With my. Alright, I'm going to come in the room with you. I'm pointing where? Where are you pointing? To join them. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, off. Why? Why? Okay. Is there something up here? Do you see something? You should talk to them over there. You know, yeah. since they know what's All going right. on. Cool. <laughs> Let's uh, talk to them. So, what's going on, guys? Ah, there's a line in there now. A drumlick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at spells. Um. So what's what's going on? We uh, there were was told a to come in here. So we uh, we killed it. Well, I'm not coming in quietly. If you guys cleared the area out, I'm not okay. stealthing. So why is what's Magoo's name? Roland. Why is Roland telling us to come in here with you guys? Um, I think he was holding up a spy of some sort. They detected. A spy. So are you guys now going to move up into the bedroom area? I think it's one with Demon. So there's someone up here. I mean, <laughs> Demon should stay down. I, I, was, I can go up first with the shield, unless you're going to try to take him by surprise, then you're probably going to go up first. Yeah, I, I would assume you have an advantage with me being down here. I mean, if you're just going to, if there's someone up there and you're just gonna standing there, I mean, they can take you out whenever they want, and they're going to they're gonna know something's up if we all come towards this ladder. I mean, unless they're stupid. I got them probably I mean, the busy focusing on I assume on me. this is their town, their inn. They're going to know what the fuck's going on. They're not going to be like, oh, there's somebody standing over here, and we saw a whole bunch of people go towards the stairs. Let's just ignore it. I'm scrumging around looking for things. Trying to look busy. I mean, yeah, let's go upstairs and clear the want, bedrooms. But... Let's go upstairs and clear the bedrooms, boys. Alright, let's go upstairs. Are we, are we doing it stealthy, or are we just going to go up loud? And um, I'm going to roll for Might stealth. Might as well attempt stealth. Alright, I'll try. Let's go. Oh, God. Oh, oh, man. Man. Anyone going up the stairs, go ahead and roll for stealth. Oh, God. Yes! <laughs> uh, Kelf, if you're going with them, roll a d20 and add plus 5. Our lion is... Oh no, Johnny is stealthy. Alright, so two of you are stealthy enough. Well, I mean, we're gonna make enough noise for the rest of us. Let's let's go, let's see what we find. How is our lion stealthier than me? Uh, because it's a lion? <laughs> <laughs> You're a cleric! <laughs> it's a lion! <laughs> it's a cat! Because... It's a lion duck. King of the jungle. <laughs> Have you never seen a cat like get down uh, and like get ready to pounce? Some things are stealthy as shit, man. It's, also it's called a wiggle butt. Thank you. That's the <laughs> official term. Look here. I have that emo in our server. I know that. I have right. two cats. I've seen it. All right, They've so both done it yeah. simultaneously. We get to the top of the stairs. What do we see? Walking into uh, the first area, you notice what appears to be the innkeeper's bedroom. Most of the furnishings were destroyed. 
Um, and in hanging on the east wall is a tapestry depicting a mountain landscape and tucked under the window in the southeast corner is a locked wooden chest. What remains of the floor is safe to walk on. All right, well, let's go past. Uh, I mean, there's, there's nothing inside moving. Let's go past and see what else we find. We're gonna. I mean, that. We're that, gonna that, come back. We can come back to that. Mean, he said there's a spy up ahead. I'd rather not have some random unknown okay. doing something when we're trying to loot. Yeah, the, the uh, chest's not going anywhere. The uh, next room you come up to is a vacant bedroom that contains two beds, an empty wardrobe, a desk, and a matching chair. The oil lamp sits in one corner of the desk, and another rests on a small table tucked between two beds. A bearskin rug lies on the floor. Cal says she wants to go up and try to claw the chest mm -hmm. open. <laughs> uh, okay. I want to make this suggestion what someone should do. It's you. You're not with us. I know, but you're I want to see what you should do. You can't tell us what to do. You're down there distracting. I know. I mean, you scratch the chest and break a claw. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the feline equivalent of breaking a nail? Exactly. <laughs> yes. Because that hurts like a bitch. Right. All right. So, sorry, what was the second room? We see a bearskin rug and... Uh, it, it's an empty room, basically. All right. Let's, uh... keep going. Let's keep going. We'll search stuff on our way out. I want to find out who this spy is and what they're doing here. So, as you approach the next room, you see that the door to this room is shut. Mm. Well, I'm going to... Do you want to try to stealth me? in? I assume they heard us coming up the stairs and they saw us walk in the building. Do we just want to knock or yell out at them? Or what are we going to do? Is this the room above me? Out of curiosity? Yeah, but you can't say anything. You're not here. Well, I know. I just want to make sure, though. Yes, it is the room above you. What do you guys... What do you think? Maka? Lydia? Sorry, I'm not anyway. Lack, Lack? Lack? Your name is Lack from now <laughs> No, no, it's black. Oh, that's sensible. <laughs> um, what do you, what do you think? Yeah. Are, are, are we going to try to surprise them? Are we going to uh, announce Heimlich? ourselves? Do they sound like goblins? Yes, let's percept the door. Okay. Roll your perception check. <laughs> okay, she I'm knows, she knows everything that's going on in this room. Yeah. That'll, that'll do, yeah. <laughs> it's a door. So, from beyond the door, you can you can hear the wind uh, blowing in the room across the way. So you can tell that this is the room that is above uh, the damaged pantry, knowing that the spy is within the room. I mean, we got options. What, what, what do you guys What do you guys think? We should check it out. I mean, uh, are we going to be did, stealth? And, if they, like, when they found the spy, did they roll any checks? To, could they tell what kind? Was it a person? It was a human. A human. Was so a we can go in there and talk to it. All right, I'm just going to shout out. Uh, we come in aid. Uh, who, who's there? Um, as you shout out, you hear a woman who gasps, uh, not realizing somebody was at her door. And she uh, says, I'm a member of the city. I was knocked unconscious by the falling debris uh, and left behind after the giant attack. Uh, her, she says her escape was thwarted by the sudden arrival of uh, goblins, whom she believes has nothing to do with the giants. Can I do an insight check? You can. Can you hear her? She's right above me in the hole. <laughs> okay. You know, but nobody else does yet. Um, oh, wait, I have to roll her deception check. Hold on. Okay, so yeah. Um, you are able to see through her ruse, realizing that she is lying about what she is saying. Can I attempt are to you gonna say anything? her? Um... Uh... Well, I mean, if I yell at it, he's just going to look down at me and then probably shoot me. Um, you also notice, um, 
with your perception check now that the door is opened, um, that there is a snake wrapped around her left arm. Wait, the door is open? Hot. I was going to say, I was just going to ask her if she's going to open the door for us. That's what I was going to ask you. <laughs> yeah, she, she opened the door after hearing you call out. Alright, oh, okay. Do I notice that she's looking at me still, or is she looking at them? She's no longer looking at you. I'm going to yell out she's lying. <laughs> what she kind of snake big. is it? You're just going to yell that out with all your friends? I'm going to... I'm yelling it out while I'm turning with my bow facing her. Okay. Alright, I'm going to raise Why my shield. Like, oh, well, you have your bow, so... Wait, wait, wait. What kind of snake is it? It's a flying snake of the Zentarum. Uh, oh. I don't know what the fuck that is, so <laughs> I'm gonna I, like, raise my shield and back up a step. Okay, so you guys are going to go on the offensive? I'm on well, defensive right do... now, but... I want so to attempt can... to uh, charm her. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Charm her with what? Uh, I'm going to take uh, charm person as my other spells. Oh, okay. How many spells can you learn? I don't really know how some Your wisdom work. modifier plus your level. Well, his is a little bit different. His is charisma, but yeah. Same. Never mind. So. Oh, oh okay. Plus, plus country. Alright, so. The range? Yeah, 30 feet range. Yeah, you can cast it. Um, so you attempt to charm a humanoid that you can see within range. It must make a wisdom saving throw and does so with advantage if you or your companions are fighting it. You're not technically fighting it yet, so you'll have uh, it will not have advantage. If it fails the saving throw, it is charmed by you until the spell ends or until you or your companions do anything harmful to it. The charmed creature regards you as a friendly acquaintance. When the spell <laughs> ends, the creature knows it was charmed by you. So it needs to roll a wisdom check. What is your uh, spell save? Spell save? Yeah. Where would I find that? Um, on it's your under... Sheet. Uh, uh, yeah, under spells, it'll say spell save DC at the top. Uh, spell save DC 14. Okay, so and I rolled a, a 10. So you successfully charm uh, the person. All right. Was the snake effective, or is it just still flying there? The snake was not affected. It is still wrapped around her arm. But you probably have control of the snake now, too. <laughs> I don't think I can charm the beast. Well, I mean, you have control of her, and I'm sure she has control of the snake. I'll ask her. Uh, does she have control of the snake? Uh, she says, no, the snake is a member of the Seven Serpents. Hmm. You should ask her what she's actually doing here. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to ask her a bunch of questions like that. Um, will the snake attack us? Uh, the snake will not attack you if you do not mean it any harm. Okay. I want the snake. Do you mean <laughs> us harm? Um, I do not mean you harm. I am uh, waiting for my friends to arrive. What friends? I am a member of the Seven Snakes, and I am waiting for a group of the Black Network to show up here. What's the Black Network? Black Network. <laughs> What's for their motives? Uh, the Black Network is trying to take over um, this city and uh, bully Lady Velrosa Nandar into subservience. Do we know who that is? Uh, Lady Valrosa is the person that uh, tried to get you here. to get here to help. Oh, out. okay. Um, are they the ones that brought the goblins here? Uh, no, she did not. It was not a part of the goblins being here. Are you gonna come up the stairs and join us? Uh, I'll leave my vantage point down here. <laughs> Isn't your entire like character arc to have vantage from the high ground? Technically, I'm still at an advantage. Really? Because from over here, it looks like a disadvantage. 
If we all just give me goose shit, I'm just staying as a little bit. What's her name, this woman? Uh, her name is... Oh, what's her last name? Kella Darkhope. <laughs> Darkhope. Right. And does she know the area well? Uh, she does not know the area very well. Oh. Damn. That was my hopes for finding some juicy loot. How many more is she expecting to come? She does not know the number of people that are going to be showing up. She only knows that the head of the uh, of the Black Network is going to be with them. Does she know of any enemies in the area? Uh, she knew of the goblins inside the inn that you guys have already taken care of. All right. Who's the head? The head of the organization? Yes. She does not know his name. Was she telling the truth when she said the goblins and the giants were not working together? Well, she's charmed. Yes, she she can't lie to you right now. She uh, sees you as a friend. Well, she told us originally the goblins and giants were working not uh, separate. So you have a concentration spell on her, right? Uh, yes, charm does take concentration. So ooh, we could use her for battle Duration for one hour. <laughs> I want the snake. Um, I'm going to start walking back to the dining hall. Do I see anything in there? Uh, you do not see anything in the dining hall uh, other than the sack they left behind from the kitchen. So the snake belongs to the, to the serpents, but it's not one of them. Uh, the snake belongs to that. It's one of the seven serpents. Belongs to that right. organization, but is a uh, thinking beast to itself. Right. Does anyone know how to talk to animals? Nope. Not at this level. <laughs> Maybe the uh, lion? I... <laughs> I mean, the lion's probably just going to growl. <laughs> 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 but yeah, did I see anything in the dining hall when I'm wake making my way back up? Or make my way to them? He, he doesn't. Ha he has a zero in animal handling, so he doesn't know any better. This is a uh, wisdom, I believe. What well, actually our Wait, motives? I have a three in animal handling. Can I do anything with that? Uh... Did you take animal handling? Uh. As an actual skill. No, I just have. I just have three to it. Then yeah, you can. I mean, you can attempt it, but you won't be proficient. <laughs> I need everyone to pray to R and Jesus for me really quickly. Uh, I think that'd be kind of risky. It's not going to attack us. If we don't mean any harm to it. I don't mean harm. I, I, I just I would I would like to befriend it and have it be my friend and my traveling companion. I will yeah, give it the you. Best... If you want to do it, you do it. I will give it the best rats ever! I just really want the snake! As you reach out for the snake to attempt to take it away from Kella, it darts off in the air and flies out of the room. Oh, well. That didn't go so well. You think? F in chat. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm, I'm walking up. I see this room with the ch uh, chess not open still. <laughs> All right, let, let's go back and investigate the two rooms. <laughs> this woman, we, we, have we gotten all we want out of this lady? She's going to be following us, though. She's, She's trying with us. Yep. Uh, <laughs> what do we... we will, uh, Use her we'll... as bait. We will let uh, I mean, that... she, she never meant this harm. No she was just waiting for some special group here. I mean, we don't need to kill her. Do what we... do we roll for to try and open this chest? Um, it would be lockpicking. It would, you would have to have some thief's tools to try and um, okay. open it without damaging anything inside. Um, and yeah, it would be no. a dexterity roll. 
So, I have a quick, uh, quick question. Do we know anything about that clan? That, the whatever? Um, none of you have had any prior knowledge of this organization. Alright. Did somebody take the crossbow bolt that was in that goblin downstairs? <laughs> nope. It's probably still down there. Alright, I'm taking it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to search the room. The second, the first, this, well, the second room, the one that didn't have the lockbox in it. Hey, so is anyone going to take that lamp? <laughs> Y'all are some greedy fools. Pirate, will you remind me the... What do you mean, greedy fools? <laughs> the two things that I got. Well, the incense, how much did I get? You got three blocks of incense worth five gold each. And what was the other the other thing called so I can add it? A holy symbol in the shape of a unicorn head. In the... oh, 25 gold. Kyle, yeah. Maliki? Yeah. yeah. Can you, like, get rid of this war right now? Really oh, oh, yeah, hold on. You gotta do I got it. I, I already got loaded. Everybody already got killed, so it doesn't really matter. I'm still I'm alive, Dave. Confirm I'm alive, Dave. There's a wall. <laughs> We're fighting Valk, yeah. What's the city called again? This city? Uh, Yes. Uh, shit. Do we even know that yet? It's nice. We were sent here on an errand, yeah. Yeah, you guys are in the city uh, of Nightstone. Nightstone. And the woman's name is. Kella. Dark Hope. On an unrelated yes. note, my cat says hello. <laughs> Kitty! Hey. He's been being an asshole all night, but now he's being sweet because he's gotten sprayed in the face too many times with the water bottle. <laughs> That's what the cats are, are really good for. Well, he kept getting close to the snake tank, and I don't want him up there. Yeah, it's a good call. I mean, granted, he won't get big enough to actually do damage to my cat, but still. Chris can't be killed Johnny like nine oh, times. God, yeah. And when I actually took control of the character, I killed him 40. Diamond respawned every time. Wow. Nice. And then when I, oh, when I put right, my right. tank over there, he nope. ran away nope. until okay. his missile bolt was ready. So he, <laughs> it's so bad. All right. So uh, who's breaking into the chest? Well, I mean, do we have to break into it? Can't we just gather it for now to make sure that nobody else touches it? How big is the chest? Yeah, how big is the chest? It's, it's a fairly heavy chest. Oh, it's a, like a like a big ass chest. Okay, I was thinking we got it's the poor box, box or whatever, a small lock box. It's a uh, dwarven made chest. Oh, so something good's in there probably. Made. Why don't we have a dwarf? Why do we dwarf want to break into it? It's, it's, it doesn't belong to us. Loot. Don't you love paladin? I, I'm it's neutral good. Now. I'm not even lawful good, but it's just like. Yeah, you and I are gonna clash a lot. <laughs> I'm neutral, but it still just doesn't seem right to break into somebody's shit. Take it. So, can anyone break the lock? I mean, they couldn't kill the goblins. They can't stop us from taking the chest. You could do a uh, strength check to try and break into the box if you would like. Could I d detect magic first in case there's any anything? Uh... Magic trapped in it? Of course. Alright. Um, detect magic. Where is it? Out of character, I'm having a mimic flashback. I think I have PTSD. <laughs> yeah, this is why uh, we need a little bit of detect magic. <laughs> yeah, I cast detect magic. Okay. Uh, casting detect magic, you do not notice anything outside of the check being magic, or chest being magic. You can see a faint glow coming from inside the chest. Oh yeah, we're definitely breaking into this ship. <laughs> there we go. Can, can I right. just divine sense, divine sense, real quick, just to make sure there's nothing evil like coming from here? Could be. Sure. Could be a trap. That's magic. I want to use divine sense real quick. Okay. Uh, casting your divine sense, you do not notice anything around you as being evil, but you do see a faint black aura coming from inside the chest. So, there's something bad in here. It could be a trap. I mean, that's that's divine sense. So, it's got to be a strong evil. Alright. Uh, 
Either that or it's been desecrated. Do it, Kelfi. I believe in you. I mean, if there's something evil in there, we should probably check it out and see what it is. Oh, now you want to break in. I definitely want to see Well, if it's evil, I mean... <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, I guess with Kelfi attempting to break in, I got my bow ready for attack. All right. Well, Kelfi says she went for it, so she went for it. I mean... Wait, Kelfi has nine lives? Is this, is this this a thing? That's fantastic. I mean, it's a cat, yeah. She I was thought it was domesticated house chest. cats. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll a d20 <laughs> for your strength check. Kelfi. <laughs> Alright, a 16. <laughs> 16 plus 2 will not work. Um, you hit the chest, shake it, and take 1 damage. Holy shit. 18. Okay. 18 doesn't work, guys. Let's just not uh, let's not mess with this thing anymore. I mean, eventually you'll break it. What about the lady? What are her stats? We could break it. Uh, the lady's stats? What do you mean? Her strength. Like... Would she be able to open this? Does she have some kind of magical bullshit? No. She is just a normal what's the, stealthy what's character. What's the chest made out of? I see a lion like tackling this thing and trying to rip it apart with its claws and teeth at this point. I think it's just playing with it. Uh, you take another one damage. Um, oh, hold on. I have questions. I have what's it made out of? It hold on, hold on. It is made out of a sturdy oak with steel bars bolted into it. Finally, after the dorm death, chest, burn it. Enough damage to break the lock off of it. I was gonna try burning it with, with fire. Listen, I might be a druid, but fire is really fun. So, all right, she broke the lock off. Let's open it and see what's inside. <laughs> or open it. Don't touch anything inside. <laughs> Walks away without looking inside. <laughs> Kelsey, you make me happy in so many die. different ways. <laughs> All right, who wants to open it? Does the paladin want to do it? I already did. Yeah, go All on, right. paladin. Inside, you see a chest that contains a suit of chainmail sized for a dwarf, wow. a Viking helmet with two horns, a leather bag that holds what you appear to see as forty-five gold pieces, Damn. and two gemstones worth about a hundred gold pieces each. Holy shit! There is also what appears to be a broken potion bottle in there that was probably broken when roughing the chest open. And you wanted to leave this chest here. Yeah, but something... I did, did Divine Sense. Something in here is evil. Or, or cursed. I don't, like... That's up to you guys if you want to mess with that stuff. With that stuff being open, and can you pull it out and see which item's cursed? Tech magic and identify? No, not me, the paladin. Can he still see it? Um, he can still see the faint black aura, yes. Did see which items faint aura, by chance? The helmet is the item that has the faint black aura coming off of it. So we don't touch that thing. Can you do a detect magic on it, Edrim? Edrim, Edremelech? <laughs> We're going to butch that name for a long time. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Kelfi took the broken bottle away from you guys. And so you can have that. Just don't don't care what the glass is sharp. Tear up your gums. You can taste it and realize that it would have been a potion of heroism. Oh man. But she doesn't talk, so we don't know that. <laughs> is... Heroism is a good potion too, damn. Is Amagelak in here? A Jermalek? <laughs> 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 Johnny, you in here? Johnny, <laughs> sorry, I've been muted this entire time. <laughs> wow. Do you have any idea how many like sassy comments I've made and not pressed my push to talk button? Yeah, no, bro, feeling it. <laughs> so I've been casting detect magic this entire time. Do I know what this is? <laughs> okay, so casting detect magic on it, you can notice a couple of things about the helmet. 
you notice that the helmet would give its wearer a plus two to its strength bonus. Um, but you can uh -huh. also tell that there is something else magical about it, but you can't tell exactly what it is. It's a dwarf-sized mm -hmm. helmet? Uh, it is a Viking helmet with two horns coming off of it. Does anyone else want to see Kelfi wear the helmet? That was my oh. first thought, was how awesome Kelf would look wearing that helmet. <laughs> but, I mean, who has strength as the main stat? Yeah. So would it be a history check or a investigation mm -hmm. check? Maybe a religion? To find out Maybe. what the actual helmet is and to find out all of You'd its have to identify. You identify. Yeah. And I don't believe any of you guys took identify. Actually, I don't think any no. of you guys can I, have identify. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure no. it's a high spell. Well, it is. I think it's a level one spell for wizards and bards. I mean, I can verify that. The sorcerer can eventually have it, but he has to take ritual casting. Not for me. It's a one divination. Bard and wizard only. Yeah. So yep. you guys would have to either find scrolls or find somebody to identify it for you. But you do know that it will give you the uh, the strength bonus. If you put it I don't know if I want just some evil thing hanging around this whole time. I don't want it. Somebody else can take it. Yeah, I don't want it. Give it um, to the cat. I can hold Kelfie, it. Kelsey, you want. don't want to. I tell I tell Kelsey, you you really don't want this. It's it's got a it's got a bad aura around it. It's evil. You really don't want this. Well. I'm just gonna carry it. Hey, if you reach out and touch it, that's up to you. I, I, I'm cautioning against it. Yeah, I, so I, I would advise not wearing it. I'm not gonna. I'm wear advising it. not even touching it. I'm gonna put it in my bag. Okay. I would too. <laughs> What's the name of it? Uh, for now, you can call it a berserker helmet. Ooh. So, uh, can I get one of those gems? Don't you already have most of the gold from the other bot or the other place? No. Did, did I take the copper and silver from that other place? You took the, the poor box, yeah. I have the poor box? I thought you had the poor box. I didn't take I I suggested we don't take it. Should as the healer, I feel like I should be tipped royally for keeping people alive, as should the, <laughs> the cleric. I'm also... Yeah, I was about to say. like, But see, we can... Hmm. Some greedy healers over here. Yeah. Well, if I, was I am the like, reason can... the people are alive, I should get gold. Oh, oh my god, look what Kelpie's doing! Kelpie's put on the helmet. <laughs> Okay, well, Kelfie's character gets a plus two to strength for now. Let's go ahead and add that. Okay. What else Bring does Kelfie get? You want me to try to take that off of you? I'm, I'm asking Kelfie. It's not, you, it's you, not you gonna come to off, off of you? It? It's not gonna come off, is it? I don't know, that's why I'm asking if she wants it off first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you didn't say anything, so I'm not going to touch it. How much gold each does everyone get from just the gold itself? It's 45, right? Split seven ways. You couldn't do 49, huh? Six each. All right, fine, 49. All right, seven each. <laughs> and then we had two gems worth 100 gold each. Two gems worth 100 gold each, yes. I Who wants say, to... I would say they're both pearls. Let me hold the pearls, and then if somebody wants them later, I will give them the pearls. Okay, I will agree. If they need something that they want to buy from, like, a vendor or some shit. All right. If we need to sell them later. So how much money do I have now? You added seven. Yeah. Add seven more. Seven... So well, I didn't have shit to start with, so... You had at least you had two, two from earlier. You've got, an, you've got a nine so far tonight. Nine what? Gold pieces? Yeah, yes. nine gold tonight. Hey, Lamau. So did we leave the poor box? Because I didn't grab it. 
That's fine. We can. Well, yeah, we should leave it. That's that's yeah. for the temple. It's just yeah, we'll right. leave it. Well, hold up. There's still more. You said there's something leather in here. There's chainmail. He said, and something else, right? Yeah, it was a uh, chainmail tunic uh, built for a dwarf, and the helmet. That was it. Okay. And then the. Who, the anyone taking the chainmail? I mean, I can carry it if you want. I mean, what we could do is take all the stuff, and then when we get to another town, we go to a blacksmith, sell it to I them. I mean, if we find the the person it belongs to, we should give it to them. Chainmail is worth seventy five gold pieces. If so there I would aren't, say grab it. If there aren't any survivors, I say we take it and make yeah. use. Of it. That sounds good to me. So I'll, I'll pick uh, it up. I'll pick it up and carry it. Okay. Sounds good. All right. So I guess we're done with this building. Do you guys want to go ahead and uh, make that the end of the night, and we can like uh, recap since it's already twelve thirty? Yeah. Fine. It's yeah. One thirty for me. I it's need to go ahead. All right, so, so far what you guys have done is you have gotten into the main proper of the, the city. You have checked out two of the buildings. Um, and you currently have uh, somebody charmed and in following y'all for, I would say, the next 50 minutes. Um, I mean, this was mainly like a learning night, getting used to roll 20 and stuff, so. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. It, it'll get faster. Our next few sessions will slowly start to get better to where we can accomplish a little bit more. Um, yeah. Plus, getting used to Roll20. Like, like I said, I've never actually used Roll20 for a campaign. I've always just used it for maps. So getting used to it will take some time. How many cantrips does a sorcerer have? Um, at level one, Three? you're allowed. Can we just acknowledge the fact that Kelf is actually beating Magoo? <laughs> to to remind him about the attempted petting. She, she probably means in lineage, though. Yeah. Um, oh. At level one, you are allowed to know four cantrips <laughs> and two spells. Yep. He said four Which, cantrips. Yeah, he gets four cantrips and two spells at level one. Some horseshit. Brilliant. Shut up. No, it's not. At least I can know four spells. Ooh. Did y'all see All the right. picture of Kelf in Discord? <laughs> yes. It's perfect in every way. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what Kelf... Kelf, change your profile picture on Roll20 to that. That's too, too <laughs> good. That's great. You should also change their names, like, um, like, Ash has. Where it's kind of like Lydia, parentheses Ashley. Well, hey, I guess Johnny did the same thing. I'm not even... Johnny dude, I'm did not even first, trying to say, I'm not even trying to say your name. Adremalek. Adremalek. No, it's just Lech. Adremalek. You gotta add the phlegm to it. <laughs> We're all just gonna call him that until he gets used to it. <laughs> Funny story about that. My last DM session, we had a guy whose name was Bacarus. We all called him Backban. <laughs> 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 I know. All right. Well, good job tonight, guys. It was a good learning session. Um, yeah, it was fun. The more we do it, the the faster it'll go, the easier it'll go, because we'll all be a little bit more used to it. So. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. <laughs> now, 